I'm biased <laughs> because the manager is like Peter's type, so I don't want like Peter to get the satisfaction of like comparing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta leave your pity differences at the door. That's no, 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 no. mean. No, it's, it's all about being personal here. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. podcast week three of the fall 2020 season on this show we'll be discussing the current season of the anime airing every week i'm your host david and joining me today we have stratton hello next up we have ku hello and finally we have taylor you didn't pick up taylor i heard you in another room now but oh my god <laughs> uh, okay now we can hear you <laughs> she's alive okay. guys anyway, we, we can continue okay. that was a good intro okay. i enjoyed that one <laughs> what do you say Strand? okay fine do whatever you want um but yeah. uh yeah so uh just real quick the only anime news that really came out this week was finally the announcement of the fourth evangelion reboot so good for you johan um Oops. i know fans have been waiting for this for a long time because they got trolled by the uh, the director <laughs> deciding to make that godzilla movie first before making the final the final like um movie that i'm pretty sure this final movie too it, it changes a lot from the original like because i think i think the other three are kind of a little they had they were, they had some changes but they were more consistent but i'm pretty sure because i remember the same for the longest time that the the director he didn't have the ending he wanted from end of evangelion so so like this is like the big the big one that like everyone's waiting for and you just trolled everyone by saying i'm going to work on godzilla first and then I'll get I think back if you this. ask the fan base, I think if you ask the fan base, it was worth it, right? <laughs> so that's I'm fine. Totally kidding. So it's, that's coming January twenty third oh, in Japan, of course. <laughs> so maybe here, who knows? Yeah, I don't. Even, I think one day. I'm pretty sure that, uh, the reboot movies were released here, but I didn't hear anything about them. So, but wait, were they, were they actually in theaters? I I want to say they were, but I haven't heard anything about them. So I don't know if they were or not. I have to check later. But I think by now, once we can start, well, actually, Demon Star is coming to the theaters. But like, like once COVID's over, I, we'll still we'll still, we'll still get more um, anime movies, assuming that theaters are still around because they're all going bankrupt too. So, sorry guys, we're not that big of fans of uh, of Evangelion, so we have no clue. <laughs> You're not sorry. <laughs> no, not at all. No. So that's the way. Need to call him up. Cause, Except yeah. for Johan. Yeah. So that's like the only news we had basically. Um, we're gonna start. With Jujutsu Kaisen. I just want to say first that uh, Ku, he called it last week when he had bad vibes. <laughs> Getting straight up Sakura vibes from the stuck up bitch. So, <laughs> uh, so you're saying I was right. Yeah, no, that's mm. exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm giving you props. Mm. He basically called it. So besides that, though, actually, I enjoyed this episode. Really nice animation for her attack. Like her weird, like, like hammer and nails thing. But I thought it was cool. The animation was really cool. <laughs> And Shred, for once, I was actually paying attention to the soundtrack, and because because it's like different from like other shows that you hear. So I was actually paying attention. So it's good. So I'm really enjoying Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. It's not like the explosive, like opening that Sasha wants, but I think it's a, it's on a good pace. Um, so I'm excited for what happens. Oh, and also that's damn cliffhanger. Like yeah, I include that of course. So <laughs> dude, does anybody really think any of them are gonna die? Come on. Uh, no, probably not. There's uh, probably gonna be like a like a fourth character introduced, and then they're gonna oh die. My God, I, I guess I, I I hate when they do this. Like there's when there's no consequences. Like if you guys set it up, you have to follow it. Like follow up with. So I really hope they do it. I hope I'm assuming if one of them dies, I'm assuming it's like the the other guy, I forgot, I, I, like the Megami guy, whatever. Like I think he'd be the one who would die. I don't think they kill off the girl or the main character. So. Um, I mean, what I, I'm been, say, sorry, go, go ahead, go. No, we're not been certain if it's going to be dumb, right? It could be another first year group. It's like one of the well, because all they mentioned was they're they're the only be a first year. I, group. I'm pretty sure they mentioned it. they're the only three first years. That's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. But I don't know. So, but it's. But I well, mean, what if one of them dies and then they come back? Like, what if they have some that too? You know? I mean, this is Shonen Jump, so it is one of the tropes. <laughs> 
Hmm. That could be easily a thing too. So I'm gonna try remain hopeful, but I can easily see it going Ku's way again. So I'm gonna hope against that. I don't know. Guys, okay, I, need to that. I need to stop. I have this power too to just good, man. shows. No, no, you're too, too good. good. It's okay, man. We we well we can we can worry about that for next week. Yeah. But mm, actually, so. I thought they spent like a nice now like there was a like, nice pace introducing the new character. Her backstory was kind of weird though. Um, apparently, she really hates the country people. Countryside? It's yeah. kind of like, I mean, it's like it's like it's one of those like, I guess stereotypes or that like um not stereotypes. It's like one of those things where like in Japan, you know, it's, it's like there. it's like being part of the group is really important. And so when you're like, in like a rural village, like where you know everyone, it's kind of like being a small town, you know, like everyone knows everyone, and so. I can kind of see where they're going at, where it's like all oh, this outsider came in, and part, you know she thinks she's better. She, she thinks that she's better than us. Whatever, making all those rumors. I can see where they're going, but like the way they told it, was just was weak. So like mm. you didn't like really, you didn't really feel like she. And then she's like you know she was just she she was mad that like that like uh that the other girl was basically being ostracized by the rest of the villagers, but they didn't really go in depth with it enough to really feel for it. So I still don't, yeah, that was pretty fast. Like I still don't really care about her character. Like I just think like her, just like I don't know her motivations or whatever. Just is just weak. I actually like the personality. I also like the group that group dynamic really? as well. Plays like, really well. Yeah. I like that personality. I, it's more. I like, like the personality too. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I think for more for me though is because like I've been watching so many of those other like you know like uh, base, those shows that really have the cutesy the cutesy chick girls, and it just gets <laughs> so like overplayed for me and annoying. Yeah, it's definitely a huge change of pace uh, for me. So I'm just getting soccer vibes, and like it was, I was not. Soccer is way worse, man. <laughs> yeah, I think I think her herself, like as a character, is is pretty. It's pretty boring. I'm not really much interested in her. But then the dynamic conversation that she has with the main character, uh, I think it's it's pretty it's pretty nice change of pace. I'd say, Damn. like it's not always the two guys that's constantly going at it. Like if anything, I feel like. Uh, like Fushi Girl, he, he's kind of like the, the Sakura of the group in a sense, because as of right now, he's 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 been kind of useless, or they haven't really showcased <laughs> what he can and can't do. He's kind of just like the side character, right? Just just kinda like not do anything. So at least with with these two, they have some kind of like conversation or some kind of chemistry going on. It looks like um, I'm sure they'll get along just fine later on once they figure out like like her true intentions, his true intentions, what makes like what drives them to be who they are. So. Um, there's there's potential, but yeah, I'm, I'm still not liking the character at all. I still have the comedy in the show though. I think it's really I think it's really funny, but it kind of goes back with the whole group group dynamic deal. I don't know. The... It's just like the comedy. You just I don't know what it, it's like. It kind of reminds I don't know. It just reminds me of this the previous like Shonen shows I were watching. Like I don't know. I just wasn't really feeling it for this show. Like. I think okay. I I think it's been I think it's been good like, so maybe, far. Maybe it's just me then, like yeah. But I like everything else though. I think it has really good vibes. Well, maybe it's because of the throwback that's that's somewhat refreshing for us. Because like you mentioned, it's kind of like a like the old school shonen type of comedy, and with everything that's been coming out lately, it it is different than what we're used to. So yeah, we have, I guess why... we haven't like rewatched much shonen sh- jump shows. Like it's mainly been like other mangas and light novels. So right. Like, so maybe that's it. I guess technically, like, besides, you know, you guys watching Black Clover, technically the last one we watched is Food Wars. <laughs> it's like the last, like, shot and jump show. <laughs> yeah. Until Hero comes back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's, uh, I don't know. It's still, I don't know, it's like, it's still my favorite show that I'm watching this season, I think. Um, the bar's pretty low, though. <laughs> so, uh, so Damn, far. that's sad. But we'll see. Yeah, I, I know. My, my shows really aren't the greatest. Uh, and also, when we talk about Fire Force, that's kind of hit of a, I think, a, a kind of a low we'll again. We'll get in that later, yeah. But um. But anyway, yeah. I mean, so excited. I'm so, I'm glad MAPPA is doing this because it's like, the animation yeah. is really well. So, I actually have more faith in them now and like, Attack on Titan after seeing Jujutsu Kaisen. So. See, Taylor said something like that too. Yeah. No, I didn't. I said I'm worried. Oh, worried. Oh, no, no, worried. Just, okay. Worried. I'm, right, okay. Right. Guys, what if they put all their budget in this and then they just completely fuck up AOT4? Yeah, you know? see, that's why I'm worried. <laughs> they just draw stick figures. I mean, <laughs> they, they, go, they go they go Dororo on the whole thing. I guess I should mention this earlier. They had an interview, you know, if about like Dororo on this. I would murder. Like they had an interview oh, with uh, the, the Mappa producers about like the switch from like from Wit to Mappa. So 
I think they know how serious it is. Like they want to finish it strongly. So I guess I'm. I guess because after reading that interview, I guess I'm more hopeful. And well, Mappa is yeah. not like a trash studio, so I think you're no. fine. <laughs> so I, I should mention too. Like, it was because that interview that I was more hopeful. Yeah. Unless, unless they go high on it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say if you're gonna go by studio, look at high I mean, that's yeah. gonna make me feel any better. <laughs> they got redeemed this episode though. But again, maybe we'll talk about that later. Yeah, right. Honestly, I don't even have much more to say about Jujutsu Kaisen though. It was just kind of, it was introducing a new girl, uh, group dynamic, just introducing her powers, uh, her little, little bit of backstory, and then moving on. Mm-hmm. It was really, it was, uh, yeah. it was really, like, you know, yeah, like, and I still liked it. Like, like it, it like, sounds so simple. Yeah, I gotta say, like, really nice pacing, like, because I think we had that problem with other shows of like, yeah, just, just this one is, yeah, it's really nice pacing. So, really hope yeah. it keep, keeps it up. So love, I love the OP and the ending. So like, probably my favorites this season. You like your dancing, man. Yeah. You like your dancing openings and endings. Dude, that is... Dude, try to pick up some new dance moves, bro. Just start swinging your arms, follow the beat. You yeah, know. there you go. Not too bad. I, I agree with you, David. I was saying the same thing when I watched the ending. <laughs> it's so great. Yeah. Apparently, the I think the, the I, I don't know who does the ending, but I know like the OP. I think he's like some probably some up and coming like any artist because people on YouTube when I was looking at the OP for. Jesus Christ, and people were saying that, like, oh, they're excited that like, this guy is finally getting an anime song. So, oh, yeah. I thought it was okay. But I'm, I'll probably end up downloading it just like so when, or so I can actually hear like the whole, you know, <laughs> thing, or at least like hear the whole thing on YouTube and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's got a pretty chill vibe. I'd say pick it up. Yeah, I don't hate it. Yeah. So, I think that's, I yeah, off. I think that's it for Jesus Kaisen because again, just the first three episodes, but really strong yeah. start. And I'm glad I saw the 24 episodes. So, yeah, like, really, strong, strong, really strong, really strong start is looks like one of Shonen Jump's like strong shows. So, mm-hmm. I mean, just waiting for that drop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just damn. waiting for that drop. This is this is Mappa Man. I think I think they're better than that. Hopefully, yeah. So yeah, I that's it. Yeah, Fujitsu Kaisen. Um, we're gonna move on to High Q, and I'm gonna. Uh, Move it over to you guys because I didn't watch this week's episode, but I heard it was good, so oh, no. you have at it. Coming from the host, so disappointed. Yeah. Probably the most hyped up anime this season. I no. didn't have time, all right? <laughs> no. Maybe if, this, me, this... if we started this half an hour later, I probably would have watched it then. See, Actually, no, I was, this... I was still two episodes behind, so I couldn't. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, like this episode, I think it was actually like the, the first one that's been good since season three. Uh, or like the, where they actually, I already forgot the school's name. But whatever that third season was, like that, this, this was the first one I thought kind of like rivaled it in a sense. Mm-hmm. The um, I think with the animation declining, I think it definitely, uh, it it definitely, it's it's strong points are definitely when they hit like the, that emotional, the like the, that emotional vibe, or mm-hmm. when they just kind of like where you where you learn more about like the uh, like the main team. So it wasn't like, and then you just like so it wasn't like last week where um where Aku was saying how it just felt like it just didn't matter because we're at the first like the first like match no. this important tournament felt like well here's the thing because i first thought okay because like because country went, went down for a while and uh we were trying to watch it so i had to you know use my ways to find the episode so at the beginning of the episode it threw me off so much i was like wait what the fuck i thought because they were showing oh. scenes from before <laughs> yeah. so i thought like did i just get like baited did i download like did i get like the wrong episode and then then I ended up finding like no it wasn't but it was basically going back it was going through more like rio's backstory mm-hmm. uh which I thought they actually like did like really well because you actually kind of felt for because I don't know I don't know if we really got like a full kind of like Ryu backstory so I thought like when we kind of got like more of like kind of his feelings and just realizing like he was also kind of like realizing there's nothing like he was just kind of normal but at the same time he managed to throw in so many comedy points as well that I was just it was just fucking hilarious where this guy's just like man he's like when I was a little kid I thought I was a genius he's like but you know, middle school I still thought I was kind of a genius he's like wait nah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm a genius. <laughs> like wow. while he's in his thoughts, I thought, damn man, this is real. Like this wow. is like, uh, okay, yeah, like the whole, like I don't know, the whole episode was good. Then just like you know, t- uh, Rio, Rio had his moment at the end of it, and you just felt so good for this guy. I just, want, he, like, I just wanted to help with the childhood friend. I, yeah, I know. I think oh. that's. I think that's all of us. <laughs> Dude, I don't think that's happening, bro. She even she doesn't like. Even yeah. she realizes that she's gonna get shot down. Oh man! I want. I definitely want him to end up with like the the manager, 
Like, oh, dude, that I so hope so too. <laughs> Through this dude. episode, <laughs> this, this, it's like it's like with Black Clover with Asta and the sister. You know, like this this man has no shot, but he's dedicated, and you know I gotta respect yeah. that. Wow. So this yep. is basically like Ryu with Kyoko. So I don't know, like hopefully it works out. I, I still like the childhood friend just because it's childhood friends. I feel for them. Get that like, shit out of here. We don't deal <laughs> with that shit no but, more. But but the whole <laughs> but when she first jumped in there and he's just like immediately like didn't even know this chick and he's already saying like please bury me. I'm thinking like, okay, I'm all right. I, I can respect that to do. Uh, I'm, see, I'm, I'm biased because the manager is like Peter's type, so I don't want like Peter to get the satisfaction of like caring. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta leave your pity differences at the door. That's no, what I mean. No, no it's, it's, it's all about being personal here. <laughs> oh god. Oh shit. Uh, but no, it's like God. What else was it? It was. Uh, oh, the 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 kind of like there was like really the, the you know animation in the in the, in the show uh, in this episode. It was it was okay. There was a lot of just still images though that were I, I thought were like really really well done. They looked nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, music is still meh. It's like it's not as bad as it was before, but it was it's. I think it was just because like the emotional scenes. I think they can actually hit those pretty well. There was a uh, but the like the kind of like Rio's a kind of final scene towards the end of the episode. I got like kind of like Street Fighter Four vibes where they it looked like it was kind of like those ink shots like oh, you're showing like the hands yeah. and the arms. Yeah, I don't know cool if you kind of like uh yeah really yeah. got any of this, but I thought. Because it was definitely like different animation, but I thought they actually pulled it off really nice. Like the like the shots were actually like where like uh, Rio's like final shot was actually fluid, um, and then it was just again like just a group dynamic like back and forth with like that entire group like what we've been kind of missing. I thought it was just so well put like a uh, with like Skishima, you know uh, uh, Kageyama, and just like all, all that stuff where basically he's just like man, this guy he's just he's basically he's just like he's so it's so it's scary how like uh, intense this guy is. Is, and he's basically like, man, you're useless. He's like, don't you ever get depressed? It's like, bro, I was just depressed like five seconds ago. He's like, he's like, he's like, whatever, man. It just like walks away. <laughs> Where he's just like, Skishima's like trying to reach out. And of course you have uh, Hinata that just kind of just jumps in and just like, you know, just smooths over everything. This uh, Where this guy's just like, in a sense, he's like becoming like a support character. All right. <laughs> uh, boosting everybody. Uh, just want to, oh, yeah, just kind of give a quick shout out to Selene. And I assume he and, and Peter and Mooney. Thanks. They say, are they watching? Yeah, they're watching right now, and they say they'll have you. so thanks, guys. Oh. Hey, guys. Hi, thanks for the support. Hope you guys watch Hi, this week's yeah. episode, because, yeah, everyone says it's really good. I hope so. I oh, my God, yeah. Cause like, like, if you really love Ryu, uh, this this episode was made just for you, because this that's what this episode was just showcasing, right? The average Joe, but he has, like, the, the heart heart of gold, heart of a champion. Uh, he's kind of like Arthur, skill. where he's kind of like, He's kind of disillusional, but then like that's what kind of gives him the strength to kind of surpass <laughs> right, that, right? Right. right. Um, but yeah, no, just for you as a character, dude, totally awesome, and I think he deserved it. Uh, like the final st- uh, still shot that they gave him at the end, when he did the super slice shot, I thought that was, dude, that was that cool. <laughs> like, oh man, if 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 only animation would have been like you know just like perked up a little Season bit in quality. Yeah. Oh, dude, it would have been so good, dude. Yep, yeah. it was a. Uh... It, like his shot reminded me of the uh, the main kind of like boss in season three, where he just he would just have like, just ridiculous strength, but he could just mm-hmm. like he could hit the ball in just just ridiculous ass places. Yeah. The one thing though, I I couldn't figure out like I was uh, talking to Taylor, we couldn't is he's normally a right hander, right, or is he left hander? Oh, you know, never, I never paid attention to that. Okay, because I thought for some reason I thought I saw him hit that shot with his left hand, but I could be completely wrong. Hmm. I don't actually know. So. Yeah. But. No, um, I, I mean, sure. I was gonna say, like, Ryu was—he was always like, I feel like he was one of the stronger players on the team because, like, he was always hitting like the spikes, like, basically. He was, there. but then, yeah, he like, was, but everybody was getting so much better than, like, it just seemed like they were progressing so much more than him. He just kind of like, I don't know, got like, lost in the shuffle. Kind of like the solid, like, it's like it's like Nishiyama too. He was like the solid player because he's whenever like, whenever or the captain, yeah, like whenever mm. um like like Hinata or like the other guys like. Could it make you get the spike in? Yeah, no, yeah. I'd say he was kind of like Daichi, right? He was. Yeah, they even give Daichi a moment too this episode as well. Yeah. Basically, where where Rio just like, everybody was having these moments, and Rio was just like, "Man, give me the ball." <laughs> he's just like, he's like, "Yeah, this sucks." And, like you actually fell for the guy, and I was, and that felt pretty good. Like uh, by the end of the episode, but yeah, this this episode definitely redeemed so far. Like this, like this show, and I, I'm, I mean, I'm hoping they kind of stick with this. I really hope they can, they, they kind of stick with like. Uh, more of like backstory, or kind of give us something more of like, because we're what one set into this this uh, this um, match, yep. and we yep. still really don't know any of the backstory of any of the other opposing team members. It's just like, so I still don't care about them. 
it, but it's like, but then if you go back to like, you know, like uh, to to Krasino and just like get some even more of that backstory, it's it's still just it's 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 uh, it's it definitely has like the emotional uh, or just like kind of like the feels and just want more of it. So really hope or just have some sort of like attachment with the other team, which I would assume they're going to do this at some point because we're three episodes in and we just got first. The, we just got through the first set. Uh, if just shit goes like five, I was just, that's going to be uh, long. I was just going to ask, like, is like the next week's going to see the last fire of this match, or is it still? Oh, like... I don't think so. I it's, don't think so. Okay. Once that's done, so, so and it's best to it's best to five. But did it take three episodes to get through this first set, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a technical three. Yeah, three. Okay. Yeah. Where where well, are we got end up with? Like, what's because we only have twelve episodes. So who is there? Fuck, I don't know. Like. Well, I mean, are we, are we, the, we, the, the pre- what, what the preview did mention something about the the the, the cat. Yeah, oh, no, they might be going for a different. Yeah, they might be showing a different match now. Oh, right. <laughs> so so we're just, I don't know. We're like not gonna get far in this tournament for the season. Not the I don't season. know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what was worrying me about the first part of the season was because they're just doing so much backstory and so much training that they never actually got to nationals. And I was worried about them actually finishing nationals. So I don't think we're gonna. Um, yeah, it doesn't yeah, sound like so we're uh, get there. So, which which makes me worried that they're gonna they're gonna lose early on because they just made it to nationals, but there's all these stronger teams. So unless everyone steps their game up, oh fuck, that's a good point. I, I can't think about see that. it right. happening at this point because <laughs> I, like because if you, get, if you get knocked out, like because they made they made such a emphasis that like the third years this is like their last time they can play. So I can't imagine them knocking them out. And but they made it to nationals. Nation- nation- like yeah. basically, like in, I, I, like don't quote me on this, but I'm assuming everyone's dreams in high school is to at least make it a nationals, and then from there it's kind of just whatever. I mean, yeah, so, playing with house money, right. oh, of course. But it, at the same time, you made it to nationals, where you know you're a very right. select few of, uh, class, you know, actually schools that made it there. Right. You just want to get to that next level, right? And as your last year, you've never made it to nationals, so that's what your goal was. Once you reach your goal, it's kind of like, okay, what do I do from here? You know, so. Dude, end of the season three, man. Those moments when they finally, when they realized they made it. Yeah, like I mean, those, was, yeah, those moments. That was a, like a huge upset, though. Season three, like being the powerhouse of yeah. your prefecture. Maybe you had one guy. No, no most definitely. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But but Not even just so, one guy just, the, just just the accomplishment <laughs> is is very worthwhile. Like you had the Kong guy too. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> That's all I remember. Is, is, is the captain and the clown guy? No. Yeah. That's pretty much all you need to know, I think. But yeah, I, don't, I can't imagine them playing like too many other schools after this. Like I said, maybe maybe they'll beat this school and then they'll go up against the uh, the Nekoma school. I I imagine um, that's like where, like I don't know if it's gonna be the finals, but it's gotta be like in this because they've been like hyping up like the the relationships for a while. So you gotta have right. the match. Well, I thought they mentioned it some like early on. They basically just showed like where they wouldn't play play Nekoma until either the semifinals or the finals. Yeah, I, I assume that's like what that's where it's gotta go. Yeah, and they're still they're in the first round, and like so I, they got a while to go. I don't remember if like they did. I think they're not. No, I think they did do um like practice scrims with them, but yep, yeah. So I want to see like the full match. It's good. Oh, guys, <laughs> what if what if you get season five, guys? What if after all this is a season five? I we'll see. I. I, I I imagine they have to be because we can't just leave it here. We can't just pull Shogeki and just like leave the the season in like the middle of a tournament, you know, and just like. I not... hope it's a different studio. Mm. If they do that, I hope it's a different studio. You know, Saran, like as much as I would love better animation, as long as I get a season five, I'll be okay. Oh god, okay. I just yeah, I, I think want it to happen. Stick with the same studio, like because the, the same group, the same studio has been working on it for so long. I feel like whenever you switch studios this late in the game, like it always changes too much. Uh, I, mean, should, I should maybe I should have actually meant maybe like uh, meant more of like the original team, I guess, of the studio. Hmm. Um, uh, maybe like more. You, have, you have to like, look at credits to see like the changes, and see what happened. Yeah, so. yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, you don't, you don't bad, complain but... about the animation. So. I am. So but... you gotta do the extra work to try and figure that shit out. Eh, we'll we'll see. But, uh, yeah. but it's okay. Next episode, uh, Taylor gets her Nakama, and uh, whatever that guy's name is. Kuro. Is it the owl guy Kuro. or Kuro? No, it's, uh, it's yeah. The setter. It's the guy with the black hair. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Basically, oh. like the main blocker. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I think he's. The, I don't know if he's. I don't know who the captain is of that team, but I think he's the captain. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think yeah, I think I know you're talking about. 
Yeah. Kuro, the black hair spiky guy. Yeah, with I, like am, the, I remember now. Yeah. yeah. With the teeth. <laughs> the teeth. Okay. <laughs> Teeth, teeth, man. <laughs> it's basically like the straight lines and stuff. You know, it doesn't. It just. It, no, it works I with not know us, right? I don't. I didn't pay attention to this minute detail like you did. Yeah. I know how much you love you the show, missed, so you guys are missing out. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess I am. Hot damn. Uh, but I, honestly, like, like after the tone of this episode, I'm really hoping if they they, they stick with it. Like the like I said, like the animation really wasn't too noticeable. But then again, it didn't really show too much of like a, the actual volleyball match. It was more right. of like the, a lot of just kind of like, you know more backstory flashbacks and stuff and then also like where like, like i said a lot of still images as well that were done really nice as well man i hate mm-hmm. when they use still images that shit, dude honestly that shit triggers me in anime the animation bar for me is so low for the show that i actually thought it was like up there <laughs> and then, yeah i actually thought it looked good too yeah yeah you see, guys, look, so. see what happens when you have low expectations everything is just i know man like, i know that just everything is awesome like that's what the show has brought us to the still images happen a lot in attack on titan and the last season of your academia so it just triggers me uh yeah that's true did they happen a lot in attack on titan the really? first the first season i remember huh. seeing i'll take your word for it i don't I, remember i'm pretty sure i don't remember season two or three but i'm pretty sure first season had a bunch of those hmm. I, don't know. I don't i really don't think i have much more like honestly like this episode was awesome i got nothing i got really nothing yeah. bad like bad to say except that beginning just threw me the f- just threw me like <laughs> it's completely out of the loop. I thought like, what? What is this? Yeah, no, I, I felt the same too. The first few minutes. Yeah, yeah, it was worth it though. It was really good. Maybe you'll, let, you'll have to know. Let us know your thoughts next week. Sure. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for uh, High Q. So um, we're gonna move on next to Higurashi. Um. Oh man. So this. Episode, so what'd you guys think? The first thing I want to say is, man, <laughs> Reina, like someone needs to kill this bitch. <laughs> oh, oh dude relax no relax it's creeping me out i i hate this girl so much she's not, she's not even that bad you know it's she's so just little creepy girl. the whole the whole interaction when they were walking and she was like when like <laughs> she, he was saying like are you lying and then she called him out for that and like i don't know and then the fact that she like she was creeping in his house and watching him while seeing that phone call and like it's like the day or like i think in the opiate shows that we're supposed to be repeating it's like oh well you're dead sir so have have fun with your your repeat no 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 to to be fair in the first episode it showed him like killing a girl so maybe like he reversed it somehow this is where that scene happens i thought the first episode was him killing uh Mion and uh i think reyna i'm pretty sure they were both dead so okay yeah so maybe this is what happens like she pops in and then like he knocks her off the baseball bat or something so he does have home advantage sir he's in he's in his own house so <laughs> like I'm, I'm sure he'll be fine but yeah like i think i'm pretty sure next episode someone's going to die someone's gotta die oh but... i should i should mention too because they mentioned um so reina is originally from ibaraki that's the prefecture northeast directly northeast of tokyo so it's close by to tokyo it's like a four or five minute like train ride and then we're at now in um gifu that's like in like Japan Alps, so it's like it's like a two-hour bullet train ride, like west of Tokyo. So they're saying how like oh, even though she was so she was like you know two or three hours away from the original hometown, she was still being visited by the god. I forgot his name. Oh yeah, the spirit or whatever. Yeah. Oh, and they also mentioned that one medical diagnosis. I didn't bother to look it up, but I assume it's just just her being psycho. <laughs> Yeah, what, what what was it? I forget what it was. I don't to remember be. the name. Okay. I didn't. I didn't bother okay. looking up either. So. Yeah, looking up well, is I'm... like ruining the fun, sir. So. <laughs> I'm glad that you're starting to find it a little bit creepy, David. Reina's my uh, favorite finding... character for that exact reason. I've been finding it creepy <laughs> since episode one. So. Like... Yeah, I'm the guy who's like, it's whatever, but. Uh... I mean, I, I kind of like it, though, because, like I said, it kind of puts you on your toes, right? I don't think it's that creepy, but it is, it is like, a nice, like, change of pace whenever they do throw it up. It's just, it's the um, tonal shifts, man. It's just, that's really throwing me off. Like, it seems like there's such a normal mid-2000s, like, slice-of-life show. And then just, like, just rain. It just gets all completely crazy. So, just, like, it's just throwing me off so much. Um, I have to say that I did wa- go back and watch a couple of, or I watched like five or six episodes of the original show, 
And I have oh, to say, okay. this one is this really is pretty like a pretty accurate like um, remake. Other than that one scene from last week that was completely new. Okay. Um, okay. It's a pretty faithful adaption, and actually, I've got to say, I was kind of trashing the animation of both of them, <laughs> but I didn't really care because it's a horror anime, so I think it's fine either way. But I have to say, this this season really does look very good compared to last season. <laughs> but I think that I think that the scary moments are um, not quite as good. I think that the older one does them better, like that scene where Raina's staring up from the closet. They didn't have that exact scene like in the original. I think, um, I think it's because like the show is kind of it's it's really bright, so I think maybe it should like darken it, it down because a lot of it takes place during the day, and so like when mm-hmm. it gets to, like the tense moments, they need like I, yeah, I think they need to darken it up or change something yep. with the style. Yeah, because it's it's really bright. That's why I, I'm saying like the tonal shifts like with the normal sex of life stuff. So. Mm-hmm. But then do you think you would um, get the same kind of like? background or presence when they were the i think it would be better so it like because it, it still would be a normal it still have that slice of life like atmosphere but like i think once like the tense moment hits it would hit harder so i think it'd be worth the trade-off mm, yeah i think I, I think i agree with david there i mean I'm, I'm mostly okay with how they do it during the day scenes but i think the night scenes for sure need to be toned down like 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 they should really like lean into that atmosphere a little bit um more in my opinion but i mean i still think it's great though my favorite show this season yeah and that sounds so again like one of my fears was, was like just have just the reboot say just make me like feel like i don't know if i had to watch the original or not so far it sounds like it's pretty faith- it's faithful to the original so it mm-hmm. i'm more um optimistic and i think it's still 24 episodes so i think that's what the original season was so Yep. Yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do with like. I guess about to wait for the ending. It sounds like that's where it's really gonna change the most, if anything. Yeah, I so. think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think you'll know until the end. And honestly, at this point, I would say I think you're probably fine watching this one. But like, um, once it's done and we know whether it's a reboot or um, a sequel, I think that it would still even be worth going back and watching the original one if you guys are interested or playing the visual novel. If it's like <laughs> routes, I don't want to know. Hmm. <laughs> if, it's, if it's like routes, I don't want to like rewatch it. Like just to like go through, I don't know. Yeah. A different, en- I don't, different ending. I don't, I don't know. Well, I guess I already do that with fate anyway. So maybe we'll see. So. Yeah. Well, um, I don't know. I feel like if if I'm not satisfied with the ending, maybe I'd kind of rewatch the original to see what could have been, like what was changed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't. So far, I'm just you... liking what's being presented so far. So mm-hmm. I feel like for Can't these complain. kind of shows, it feel like I guess if it's like if it's the only the ending that changed, then I but just like I would just skip to the part where like things are different. I don't want to just rewatch like, the first half just for it to be all the same. So. Well, I, I still want to see how they incorporate the time travel portion. Um, if it's done tastefully or not. I don't think it's time travel, Luku. I think it's just it's like the light novel storytelling or uh, the visual novel storytelling of the routes. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't I don't really know, right? Because I've, I've never really watched this or seen it. I don't really know how. I don't think there's time they're, travel. They're I think it's just, it's just it's just like it's just because they have because it's a visual novel. So it's going off that format. So that's why I like like true routes like you get the memories of things that kind of reminds me of like of like 999 or like you where you branch off but you get like m- memories of like the previous routes too so well i guess i've never actually watched animes where it's like strictly follows like the visual novel routes i guess um so i guess i'm not really sure really, what to expect that's because like animes stuff. when they adapt visual novels it's they usually pick one route and they stick to it they don't usually do the multiple routes Right, right. So if they plan to do multiple routes, then I guess that's why I'm kind of confused. Or it's but like I'm used, I'm used to them just doing just one route and then yeah. following up. Or other okay. times, like so. they they reset it. Like um, there's this one like uh, Amagami or whatever, where it's like where he he like one 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 of the girls was a route for four episodes, then it, then it reboots and then does the other girl, and they just do that for like four four arcs straight of just like rebooting the whole thing with a different girl. So that's kind of annoying to watch, though. They just constantly like return back to a certain point and it just goes a different route like are you saying that maybe they revert back to the point where uh say rena was gonna kill um kill keiji at, at the dump and she didn't stop and then they go from there or or what do you what do you mean i don't know how i don't know how they're gonna do it for this show um what 
if it's like going like the visual novel format, it'd be like if someone would die and then like like it would yeah repeat back to like the beginning of like June June something and then like either main KG would like he would either think something was strange he felt something strange or he wouldn't even think about it until it happens again. Oh, uh, I mean, I kind of hope they don't do that because it sounds kind of. Like for me, it sounds like it'll get stale quick. Actually, after kind of, it actually, actually, actually that, that format reminds me more of Steins Gate, I guess. So I imagine it's more. I Steins Gate. think that what, from how you're describing it, I think that Ku is a little bit more accurate with where this is going. Um, Just, yeah. In terms of like this, the setup. Um, because like what you like what you're just saying right now, David, I think sounds kind of right. But like when you were talking earlier about like the standard visual novel thing, where just like because like my understanding with like fate, for example, right, is that there the stories are like each of the routes are like separate, right? Like they're all set in the same world, but like mm -hmm. they're each completely separate. Like you wouldn't have memories from one of the routes in a different route, no. right? Because it didn't happen. Yeah, so that's uh, not I, right. I think this. I forgot to mention that I meant because um they. They mention in this in the second episode, like I think they're saying how it's the true ending, or whatever, or how this is supposed to be the true route with the true ending. So I'm that's why I meant like mm. like, like being worried about the memories carrying over is whenever they do the true ending stuff, it's because like they carry over the memories. So mm. Mm. yeah, we suppose. I guess we wouldn't really know until episode five or six when they go towards a different arc because I think this is still the same arc, right? The yeah, this yeah. is all one arc. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I, I guess we'll have to wait and see how they play it out. But I mean, well, it'll be I'm really like... interesting. Go ahead. <laughs> oh no, like like I said, uh, if if it's not time travel and it's what you're mentioning, um, I hope it just doesn't get stale, just because I'm not familiar with the storytelling. I think maybe um, I was wearing it differently. I don't th or diff I was wearing it wrong. I don't think it's gonna be like time. I don't think it's gonna be repeating. I actually, well, actually, I don't know because I do remember like seeing clips of the old show of like of people constantly dying over and over so i appreciate sure they have to they have to reset it somehow where he's just gotta be repeating june all over again can i'm assuming that's where um, rika would come in with her powers or <laughs> so, i don't know maybe, maybe so, i'm just reaching out i don't know i'm just uh, yeah. you won't you won't get stale i can almost guarantee you it won't get stale and what little repeats doesn't last very long and i don't think you'll get bored okay. it, it like the, the only thing that people ever really complained about that was boring was just like every time they would start on a new arc there would be that episode or two of like slice of life stuff and that's what bored people but it wasn't like the same thing every time at least mm. you know what i mean it was slightly different so or even completely like pretty different so um i don't think you have to worry about it getting stale it's not like um groundhog day or anything I love Groundhog Day. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've read so much Groundhog Day fan fiction. It's so boring. Like, not of that thing, but with that concept. I can't uh, do what? that. I can't do that. Non anime similar. fan fiction? <laughs> I, I don't like Groundhog Day situation. Well, I guess I shouldn't say that because that's like ReZero, but like, other, when it's often used in anime, I don't like it because it does get, get boring. IRL. Yeah, get that shit out of here. No one wants to know IRL stuff. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but okay, yeah. I mean, I, I guess we'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm still entertained by it. Um, it's the pace is still yeah. I'm still, I'm still really enjoying it. Like, so we'll, we'll see. Like, I, I thought I like take longer to get into the show, but like, I was like hooked on episode one. So, like, I'm really enjoying this. And there's there's like a scene that I remember from like, cause like there's like cause like there's a bunch of YouTube videos of like top ten like fucked up sh moments in anime, and there's Higurashi is always on there. There's this one scene I remember, so I'm waiting for it to happen. <laughs> Can I just say I Oishi is like the worst detective I've ever met? Like, <laughs> oh yeah, he's a terrible. Kid, asking a kid for help. <laughs> like, no, come on, bro. Because he can't trust anybody else, right? So he has to talk to the kid because he's an outsider. <laughs> so why don't you talk to his dad or something? Why, why the hell are you talking to his little kid? You know? <laughs> and they're like, oh, I'm gonna talk to you on the landline. Make sure no one like listens in on us. And then you got freaking Reina over here comes in like in the middle of the night and she's just like, eaves like I like eavesdropping over everything. Kid too. He's shop or stalk him like that. That's what happens to relying on kids, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm on a top secret mission to figure out this supernatural occult stuff. Hey, kid, I know you're from the city. You don't believe in this. Hey, how about we work together as partners? 
<laughs> why don't you step in my car? It's like, oh my god, the worst detective oh, I was, ever. I was gonna say, like, was I don't because I thought at first the car was parked in front of the school, but I think they drove off somewhere. Because I was gonna say, like, mm-hmm. you want you want to mention keep this on a down low, but like you're parked right in front of the school. It's like, like and you're in the countryside takes- with this. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. And then he takes him to that like fetish made cafe thing. That was that was this episode, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Yeah. That, I remember. I remember. I'd totally forgotten about that from when I watched it before. But I remember thinking, like, when that guy first invited him into his car, I was like, "Oh God, this is gonna go really bad, really fast." <laughs> yeah, not you. Like this guy's a creep, and he and he kind of is, but not not in a bad way, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't realize but, the Japanese countryside had like the made outfit cafes. No, in, like I'm, I'm sure he took him to the cities. I'm sure he took him into the cities. I but dude, guess. you're in the countryside and you're driving this like fancy, shiny ass car, and then fancy, you expect you think to so? be. Like... I mean, for the, for the olden days, it's it looks like a standard, crazy. any other standard like Japanese car. Did you see anyone else in, in that village, sir? Driving walk in this village. Car. I don't really see anyone drive. Because they don't have a car, <laughs> sir. Yeah, you're, in, you're in Japan, man. Right. But what, what I'm trying to say is you're trying to be anonymous, right? You can't yeah. be doing that shit. He's like standing out so hard. Car, right? <laughs> well, and like uh, he's, he's like calling, yeah. like just calling over Keiichi when like everyone knows he's gone. He's like, what were you doing, Keiichi? Like, nothing. It's like, uh-huh. Like, oh, so we didn't see you run off with that old man in yeah. a shiny new car? Okay. In this okay. in this school, where there's only like, ten, like what, six people attending? <laughs> you want, yeah. More than six. Six. <laughs> okay. Well, it's only that classroom. I, I just assume there's only six people, but it's a small, rural classroom. Yeah, the, rural school. yeah. It's all kids of all ages, but yeah, there's there's more than six. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, otherwise than that, like other than that, yeah, that's that's what made me laugh at this episode, just how bad he is and like what they showcase with him. But I feel like he's gonna die. Like he's he's gotta die, right? Just because of what he's been doing and like. I don't know if he's gonna die. I just feel like it's gonna be like all the kids. What? What? From what I've seen, Higurashi, it seems like all the kids are gonna die. So no, because I feel like like Reyna's gonna like uh like rat him out, right? It's like, hey, there's this weird guy coming from the city. He's trying to like mess up our 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 cult or our uh, tradition, whatever. And then he's gonna get like all the villagers to go against him and like have him follow him somewhere and then just kill him at the dam or something. See, this is why the girl from Jujutsu Kaisen hates the countryside village. Yeah, yeah, see, mob mentality, makes, man. Makes perfect sense. Like, yeah, in a small village, like that's 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 all you got. Mob I guess, mentality. So. Yeah. yeah. Um. Do you guys have any like theories about what's happening, especially with learning about Reina's backstory? Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know if the show supernatural or not. Shinawa? So, like, yeah, fair. yeah. So, I, I'm mm-hmm. assume it's supernatural because like it's the most logical, like, um, conclusion. I don't. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, like when it's not supernatural it's always like some weird science stuff like sci-fi stuff mm-hmm. so i assume it's like i'm assuming it's supernatural it's like there's actually like a curse coming from like one of the shinto gods or whatever so mm-hmm. yeah i'm gonna have to go with dave with with this it's gonna be something supernatural something with the uh tradition or the folk tales that they have going on here um okay yeah, I'd, I'd say if, if she was, if Reyna was possessed, like, it wouldn't surprise me. Like, it would make total sense. Yeah. Although, it also wouldn't surprise me if it's, like, it's also, if there's, like, a red herring where, like, where she's not, like, the killer, I guess. Well, actually, I feel like, she's I feel like probably the killer. this Come arc, on. I think this arc she is, but <laughs> I wouldn't be, wouldn't be surprised, like, later on, something else happens. Just, like, because I'm still thinking about, about Rika, like, what the hell she has to do with any of this, I guess. Or, yeah, I guess that she was, I guess she, we know she gets killed because of like that one scene. Uh, I'm just I'm just thinking like what's going on with her and like how she's connected to all this. If she just ends up dying or something. So. Yeah. Okay. I was just curious to hear your thoughts Actually, and to see what your, like, like, what your early level thoughts are. <laughs> because like it just seems too obvious that Rika is the killer. So uh, there's got to be something else happening. Like. You mean Reina? Reina. Yeah. Like or. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It just feels too obvious. If it's just her. There's gotta be something else, like in the works here. So, well, the thing that kind of throws me off too is the the EP, I guess. Uh, it showcases, all, yeah, like all all the girls, um, like like crazy background stories, I guess. Uh, mm-hmm. Like the blonde oh, chick. Yeah. 
I, did, I, didn't... She, I, I guess she was getting raped at a young age, and then like uh, Reyna's father is alcoholic. Yeah, I, I saw um, that in the last episode. I didn't watch it this episode, so I don't remember. I do remember the one where it showed yeah, Reyna's father was an alcoholic. So yeah, and it shows that Keiichi was like just like smacking the shit out of somebody with a baseball bat. So maybe he has like a violence tendency that we don't know about. Like mm-hmm. maybe that's why he went from cities to the countryside. Um, but yeah, it looks like every girl has like a tragic backstory behind them, and that's I mean, probably that's what's pretty typical. Like you always have to have like a tragic backstory for the characters in your show. These type of I mean, shows. Do you really though? Do you really? Writers, anime think so. Writers love doing that. <laughs> like it's gotta be tragic, or yeah. it's like it's like if you're not fucked up, you're not worth like having screen time. It's like the thinking of a lot of anime writers. <laughs> I guess, dude. I'm scared to go to the countryside, bro. Because <laughs> it, it just makes you think we're that just, everyone in the countryside has some kind of fucked up story. That's because, not like, if you look at all like the Japanese YouTuber people, like they love the countryside. They're like saying, "Man, like cities already got to go to the countryside." Nah, they're they're part of a cult. I, don't, I can't <laughs> believe that shit. That's they what love the countryside think. in Japan, and they're trying so hard to like to revive it because you know everyone's moving to cities. Uh, yeah but i mean that, that's all i got for this one though yeah so yeah same I'm still really enjoying it i've been like i've been like hyped since the, like the first episode so definitely looking forward to the rest of the season and again i'm glad it's 24 episodes so that we like it be nice it's nicely pace like i guess like it, it kind of felt like a little maybe a little slow for those first three episodes but like it's gotta really pick up next episode for sure so excited for that as well yep so yeah, so that's gonna be it for Higurashi, and then I think we're gonna move on to Fire Force. Um, yes, so, yes. I, I felt like this again. This episode, man, I think if Sasha was here, he'd be calling out how like basically nothing happened again. There, or, like, there's nothing that happened this I, episode. I, 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 I'm gonna repeat what I said last week again. Again, just the awkward pacing. Like it's going back to the awkward pacing that we thought it was done with, but it's still here. I think it's just, I mean, again, again, nice... like, the author trying to hard for the comedy, too. But that's yeah, a nice bit of pieces here and there. Like, I kind of thought it was pretty cool how, like, uh, Charon was protecting Shenra at the very end. And I guess they're going to team up. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be, like, yeah, I thought it was going to be Evangelist and uh, versus, like, the uh, Hajima, Hajima and then the, the teammate, right? And then, like, towards the end, it just flipped it on you. All three of them are going to work together to take out this guy. Which is weird, because it's what that one pillar lady set off in the beginning. Yeah. So why are they all fighting against it? Yeah. It, um, it, seems, it just seems really inconsistent, yeah. Right. And then just the Arthur parts. I just love the Arthur parts. Like, just how... Oh, they're all so good now. I mean, it was... Right. It was how ridiculous it was, I thought it was a little <laughs> funny, but I felt like it was kind of dragging on. Like, it dragged on. Yeah, yeah, hard, yeah. It, it did for sure, yeah. It's I, I I don't know. I didn't mention this last week too, but it's just it still throws me off. Like just hearing Yukino's voice as like the the puppet lady, because just I mean we've seen her oh, crazy yeah. voice before and like in Kake Guri, but like I don't know, I just felt like it doesn't really fit the character as much. It's whatever. I mean, it's just a minor character. Yeah, she'll be gone, I assume. I uh, mm. I don't know. I, I I hate the fifth pillar so much. Like every time she shows, like I just <laughs> like wish she dies. Like I think. She's just such a useless character. Besides, like she can just like you know sense what like when things are happening, but she seems just so weak. I don't hate her as much as I did, but she just seems so just yeah, she just seemed pointless. Like, what are you even doing here? Besides, like, yeah, I, yeah, I, I still sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say the maid seems like way over- overpowered though. Like, just the the, the necromancer. Yeah, the necro- necromancer. Necromancer, yeah. necromancer in a sense. Like yeah. just being able to like make the huge like inferno of like from the dead bodies and also and also um the corona like the, the smoke guy just being able to choke people with his his smoke like why didn't you have the shinra or the other people he likes to face the weak call remember yeah only yeah. weak people okay, so only weak why. so anybody like, that's strong is like nah not worth my <laughs> like it's, it seems so convenient just having him being able to like insta kill people using a smoke like that and then having the necromancer like like get the bodies like it just seems so convenient for these powers but i don't know he he seems like he's like I actually really like his character a lot. Like like honestly, like I, I know Sasha like mentioned this last week. Where I mean, I'd probably be like this guy too. He's like, nah, just give me the weak people and just keep giving me the pay. And I then like, I just feel like, go ahead. I just felt like the comedy for him was dragging on too. Where like we're saying, oh, it's like, you know, who are you, my boss, or it's not part of my job. It's like I don't know. I was I wasn't feeling him this week. Like I just think it's just 
Uh, I didn't mind him as much. Actually, like I think out of all the characters, I liked his dialogue better, even though yes. it wasn't as much. Yeah, the worst part, the worst part for comedy, I thought was like when they were tr- like trying to like catch the guy or the kid, and they just kind of threw that in. Where they're trying, like, to, they're trying yeah. to make it like a like a like, kind of like a game. I'm not that like this is yeah, this doesn't fit very well at all. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like especially when you had like serious tones before, then all of a sudden you just kind of go I mean, comedy on it. Yeah, where like they keep throwing all the PTSD on him. And yeah, like yeah. Dude, those moments are actually not bad. Just because, like, that, because that fucking guy was just so, like, insane <laughs> in a sense. And that, where it basically, like, it just scarred this kid so fucking bad that this is, that's, like, the only thing that this guy thinks of now. And I like how when this guy speaks, like, his face is just in his mouth now. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just there. And, yeah. And... <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of hit and miss with this episode. I feel like they're trying to do too much, but those are a couple of things that stood out, like, like that, with that guy constantly in the, uh, that six, that little boy's mouth. Yeah, and then like Colonel's conversation that he has, like it's not much, <laughs> but I thought like the the bit that he was having, you know, like who's an idiot? Me? Oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Yes, President. Like I, I oh. thought, I thought that was pretty funny, but I think it was just because they're trying to do too much that it kind of just took away from that. I just see this whole th- fight as like wasted potential. Like you could have done, like a three way battle would have been so cool, and you just wasted it. So. I mean, they still got the next couple episodes. Like I said, w- it's like, like the ending really stood out to me. So. Oh, Hopefully, there's something that that pops off the next episode. Like maybe, like it gives me hope that that Charon is gonna like come over to the good side. I guess because no way, right? It's no not way. gonna happen. But but you don't know, like it. I still it, love it. Gives you hope, dude. I'm like you know, I'm with Brian. He's I, so I love I love his character. Like when he yeah, when he yeah. like, yells yeah. out his attacks. Snap. Clap. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm with Brian, man. I I would be I'd be the hype man for this guy. Just so yeah, chanting like. Yeah, his whole character is really good, but I think he's I think he just follows the faith too hard, and then he also basically just follows like what his purpose is way too much. And I just don't think I can't, I can't, he, there's no way he'd be he'd go to the good side, even though that would be yeah. that would be awesome. And of course, I mean, uh, do you guys, and then I'm, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, even like, uh, you know, fifth pillar, like the the cults people, like, man, like, like the fifth pillar had to ruin it, where like where the, uh, Arrow and Chiron is such a good combo, you have like the melee protecting the range. That was such a good combo, and she's basically just ruined it for them. It's like, come on, it's just terrible, man. I'm telling you, it's uh. Do you guys still think that the kid's gonna stick with like gonna actually like who do you think the kid's gonna end up with on um, like which side? I still think the ev- evangelists. Yeah, I don't know at this point because he he's, he's so fucked up. I don't see who's gonna be able to break through to him. Yeah. You know, and because, I think like, that's the one that's gonna grab him because if he ends up with the the company eight, whatever, like he basically like I mean. Hajime's gotta go after him, so it's like, well, how are they gonna protect him from the other company? And especially since, like, the Hajime is so connected to the Holy Soul Temple, it's like, I imagine, it's hard to imagine what's gonna happen after this arc, because, like, they're gonna be, like, on, like, the, the like, on the hit list, or, like, they're just gonna be targeted, because they know, like, they're, like, like they're, they're serious about, like, investigating, like, the, like, just the whole, you know, like, religion and, true, yeah. and empire, so... Yeah. So like, I don't know. So if it ends up in like in Company Eight, like it'd be really messy because then they have to like keep hiding him. Well, I guess they still have to get Shinra eventually, but like, or unless they know. find a group that they can basically just you know put him in the base where he's just like in a um. What's the but term? like, what group though? Was like you only just feel like there's much space in like the Tokyo Empire. So unless, uh, unless, uh, he unless, could go to unless they get him to like like Benny Mario or something, but. I was thinking Team Five. We know basically where because she's oh, yeah. like the scientist team, isn't she? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I would think that maybe he would go there then. But I think you know, like even, not to experiment on him, but basically just to be there. I think even Team Five, like I think they still like have ties with like Hajima. So like I think, um, like even though Ivana, she doesn't like she only cooperates with him just to get what she wants. But I think she still has to play nice. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would actually be more interested just to see like the kind of like the follow, like what happens, like if he does actually end up going back with teammate. Or uh, um, just to basically just to see like what like kind of like what happens after that because they'd have to set up, and I would assume change a lot of things just, um, just with with you know just acquiring him. But other than that, I got I don't think really much else besides just continuing this fight for next episode. Yeah, I hope it basically. ends. Like it's just it's like Same. it's like it the, the first time we saw the fifth pillar, the Inca girl, like where, like. The, the parts were the, the parts were like with Chiron were cool, but then like yeah, everything else just took too long. Yeah. So yeah, it was one episode too long, and I'm assuming I already felt like this should have been the end. This should have been the episode where everything kind of wrapped up. 
So I'm, ass- mm-hmm. I'm assuming usually when I get that feeling, the next episode should be the wrap up. So it's <laughs> it's basically following again Sasha's like what he's been saying this whole time. We're like the highs and lows. We're like we had such a good high with yeah. with Joker and Benny Maru, and then now it's just this part, which yeah. it just sucks. Cause I was it's actually really I was good. I was hoping it would break the streak because it, it felt like a good setup, but yeah. Like, yep, and they fumbled it. Dude, this author, man, yeah. needs to lay off. Like, I, I really want him to like you focus know, on the action and half the comedy. It's okay, guys. You know, it can't be good all the time because if it was good all the time, it wouldn't be good anymore. It'll just be average. No, you know, if he, if he top, so if you gotta, good, you gotta have the good, good times time. and bad times. No, it was good all the time. It was top tier. It belonged in the top tier manga, like manga. You know, like those, uh, there's there's gonna be lows. You know, it's gotta be lows to set up for the the height. It's the not next for like the know? top tier shelves are not <laughs> as inconsistent as this show is. You don't like those uh, random etchy moments with Arrow? Oh, yeah. No, let's talk about that. Mm. <laughs> oh, that was uh, that was pretty good stuff. Oh, my God. I think that was the first time we've ever seen her face, too, right? No, we've seen her before. And, uh, we've her seen her face season. before. She, 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 yeah. she not, her face. not her face, though. Yeah, no. She, yeah, like, she has, like, arrow like, eyes, isn't I'm she? I'm pretty sure she was fighting against... um When she was fighting against Benny Maru, when they were invading... When they're setting fires to Benny Maru's like village, whatever, oh. like she was there and she showed her face. Yeah, I, well, I do remember it at some point. Well, you know, I, I do like that he's spreading the, the 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 love to other females in the character, not just Tamaki. That you is know, nice fan, too. Yeah. Fan service of someone different, especially a villain. I'm just saying, like, I, I wish that was so random. Like this author, he just seems so scattered. Like, with just, I just wish he was more focused, like, and just lay out the comedy because it's really ruining the pace. The comedy's you know, not, fine, but they he like it just they miss he misplaces it or he puts it in. Just I guess I don't know. I just I, I think I think it's just overdone. Like yeah. you're just trying too hard. That's yeah. why I just wanted to focus. Like just please focus, man. You have such a good like potential, and you're you're ruining it. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Not everything can be Dragon Ball Z where it's perfect all the time, you know. <laughs> yeah, Dragon Ball Z's not perfect. Sure, Get the hell sure, out of sure. here, man. Get out of here. It's that's, perfect. That's like some Brian. End sh- of discussion. That's like some Brian shit right there, man. No, no. End of discussion. Dragon Ball Z was perfect. Man, I gotta you're like those but, yeah. Dragon Ball fans that Fresh Taste talks shit about. It's fine. I'm better than they are. Oh. Um, but anyway, yeah. we'll yeah, no, like, like I said, I think it's I think it's fine. Uh, you know, I'm I'm okay with these highs and lows just because like the like the hype, like when they do reach the climax and like there's these like incredible tension points. The like, animation I, I think, kicks in. Yeah, the animation kicks in. Like, I think it's worthwhile. You know, like you can't like for me, maybe just me, right? But I can't expect it to be like amazing the whole way through. And I guess so. I'm just probably being biased again because I, I, it's not going the direction I want it. I want to be more focused on like the psychological effects of turning into Inferno. Like this is like the first time in a while we saw someone turn into Inferno that I hey, forgot we're, about it. We're watching psychological effects of this kid. This kid, yeah, <laughs> but, but but like that's that's something else though. It's like I want to. See, yeah, more of that where it's just <laughs> scarred by it. Where it's oh, like, okay. I don't know, I just I just don't like the direction where it's just all over the place with like the cult people and stuff. So I just honestly, think it's okay, you know. Honestly, I'm fine with all this stuff, but it's just going on too long. Yeah, it's just it's just taking too much time. That's all I got. Yeah, so I guess that's gonna be it for Fire Force. Um, that was a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> we actually talked about that. That was surprising. Anyway, sorry. Continue. No, that's all right. Uh, I remember we went next to Damachi. Um, I Dude, I actually don't hate this season. <laughs> like it's oh, actually really? not bad. Yeah, pacing is definitely it's better than season two. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I think the lore's on point. There's actually a plot with this one. Um, yeah. There, there's like a lot of tension with this. I, I feel like there's a. There's, there's an actual direction that they're trying to go towards. Well, cool. There was a plot in season two, but they just cut sped run through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just basically did a speed run, and then they basically just decided to cut parts out of it. You mean you mean plot as like Haruhime plot, or like plot as an actual story like, plot? No. Like, for, story, for non-degenerates. Story. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So I'm actually talking serious here. Non-degenerates. Like, basically, because like, it was supposed to be, I think, like the... God, what was his name? I think it was like, uh, with Ares, I think, or whatever his name was. Like, the fire guy... The um, no Apollo, Apollo. Yeah, basically where they had to, like where Apollo was supposed to be like this big thing, but they uh, wrapped it up in like two episodes, three episodes, something. It was a crazy. Oh yeah, like three or four. Yeah. yeah, and it's like the only reason why we knew about that is because like the mobile game that actually like, gave <laughs> yeah. us more information about everything. Yeah, and we're just like, dude, you, you, come on, JC staff, you're, you're being outdone by a mobile game. And then also like the other parts too, where 
like where we said it before, like we're at the beginning of the second, like a beginning of the second season that we just kind of, like we were supposed to just know who like the bow and arrow cat girl was with, uh, with Soma. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then cause the, the only reason why we knew about them is because of the mobile game. Mm -hmm. And also where it's just like, uh, what, what was like, was it the God of War where they had like one episode with them? They Ares, built yeah. up to be like this entire thing with like Hestia, and it was like wrapped up in an episode and a half. Oh yeah, and I then forgot was, about that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then, it's, but so it's like I don't know. So maybe I don't know if I'm if I'm enjoying this season more just because I quit playing the mobile <laughs> game and I don't know what the story is. Or, but it actually seems no, like no, it's, it's focusing on just kind of one thing now instead of like five different things in a season. It's definitely better. Mm -hmm. It's better pace. Yeah. Um, okay, by the way, yeah. Peter, the, re the reason why Peter hasn't watched season three is because he dropped season two because he was t he didn't like the pacing either. Really? Yeah. Damn. Well, we'll have to let him know so. to, to bring it back because like the season three is actually I think on point. Like how Ku said, like it's like mm -hmm. like you know they have a plot and it actually it feels like this is going to be the plot for this season well, as well. It's it it, also, it feels really important for the show like for the lore like it's actually you give yeah it's making you question like what was the, like um like question about like everything they were doing like. And like actually questioning their values and what, like, what if they're, what they're doing is right. So like it's actually really yeah. it's, it's asking really important questions for the story for once in like this, in like in this series, which it it felt like more of like you know the typical like like fantasy show with like RPG settings, mm -hmm. but now it's like it's actually getting really serious. So that's really nice. Yeah. Well, they're tr they're they're like basically trying to incorporate like another race in a sense, like with with humanity. Like where is it? Where everybody has has thought of like this race is just basically just trying to kill everybody off. Gods didn't care, but it actually seems like gods now like want them to come back. With at least Uranus of all people, Uranus. like it sounds like I don't know about yeah. gods, but I think it's Uranus. I, 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 I'm still confused by like how yeah, important it's... he is to the story. I I forgot everything about him because you had, I mean, yeah, I think I think you guys are right that he is like. The head of the guild, but I'm basically still, the head, yeah, yeah like I'm the head like god, like the head yeah. I'm so like if he's head of the guild, I don't know like what his position in like the heavens is or what he has to do. Like maybe he's an outcast. Like uh, uh, no, no, no. Every everyone that came down to earth came on to a free will to assist humans. I think he's more of just like a mediator. He's like the middleman between the gods and then okay. like the the gods below. Like because he's kind of just foreseeing everything. Like every detail I have, everything. I don't know. I just forgot about him, and they make him really important in this season. So. Dude, I thought we were gonna be able to see Fell's face, <laughs> and then we got debated. Let's see who. It's only okay. Hestia got to see soon. No, we didn't get to see it because remember, like, because like, uh, you know, Hestia was saying, like, it's like, it's like, oh, what are you? And then she's like, oh, oh like, I, I guess I, I can't no hide idea. from the gods. I and then no he was idea. like, Fell's. Was... Oh, that that skeleton one. Yeah, uh, the, the the shade guy. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I mean, yeah. like, I have no idea what the importance of that part was or why. It was important not seeing oh, what, the face. I just wanted to, I just wanted to see who what I just wanted to see the person. Like, you know, what I know he like basically what the what was under the the cloak, I guess. Yeah. I mean the, the unmasking is always a part, you know. You just yeah. your curiosity is just yeah, I'm I'm just curious. It, it really serves no purpose besides I'm just okay. curious. Yeah. But Maybe no, it, on later on. Yeah. But anyway, sorry, going back to everyone else. Like I, like it, hmm. so he's basically like, we've already kind of like talked about we think he's just a middleman. So do we think he's just kind of like like do we think he's an evil, uh, mm. or just neutral? I think he's neutral. He's more or neutral. he's just serving his he's... Own, he's just doing things in his for his own purpose. It's like that. I yeah. don't think. No, I don't think he's doing it for his own purpose. I think he's doing it for the greater good because in uh -huh. a sense they are still gods, right? So they would kind of want what's best for everyone. I don't know about sense. that. It seems like. It seems like I don't know. Like, the gods are. It's it's like like the other gods in like mythology, where it's like all of them are just selfish. And just do things. They, they like they come to the human world just because they're bored or they want entertainment. It's, yeah, I don't know. I, um, it seems like that's what a lot yeah. of the gods are like. It's just like I don't see. Don't, like, yeah, I don't know what uh, he's. He just he just looks sketchy. So it's like it's hard to to, yeah. to see what he's gonna do. Just because yeah. he's an old man sitting on a throne by himself so, he's <laughs> he's like, in the he's, dark with a skeleton, he's doing things behind the scenes, man. That's sketch. <laughs> so. Yeah. Not really doing anything behind the scenes. Just take him as the president, you know, Mister President. He 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 knows things that he can't tell the public, you know. But uh -huh. he's there to uh, he's there to run the city. I'm pretty sure sketch. if our current fool would, yeah, I'm pretty sure if our current fool knew anything, he'd probably just blabber it out anyway. But anyway, right. Uh, but, go ahead. But uh, no, like like I said, I feel like he's he's kind of just there to kind of mediate everything, you know, do everything for the greater good, you know. Like in in general, uh, the gods did come down to uh, Earth in a sense. 
kind of watch over the human beings, bless them with powers to live among them because, like you know, like maybe it was like selfish reasons, but it was really to live among them and experience like all the feelings that 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 they they that the humans go through. See, that's so, like that's like uh, the thing I don't understand with the lore. It's just like, what's the whole point of this? Like the gods coming down and creating the dungeon and like and all and like hunting monsters and all. I still like don't get the point yeah. of like this whole like, as, end as game. Of, as of right now, even in the mobile game, um, there is like a point to it, but I don't know if it's canon or not with the Argonaut story. Um, but as for like the tower and then like the whole like building of the city and whatnot, I don't think they've actually like explained that portion yet because that goes back into the time of when Zeus and the other familiars were still alive when they were fighting against like the three giant monsters. Uh, the three great monsters or whatever. I don't remember any of this. So. This is mobile game uh, stuff. Mobile, I, mobile game. This I, is mobile I, game stuff. Okay. Yeah, I this is what I'm saying. I played this but I skipped the story, so I have no, I have hey, no clue about this. Never paid attention to this story, but I did. <laughs> because, like, like legit, unless you read the visual novel or the light novel or whatever, like, whatever, right? Um, like, you, you missed out on a lot of content, and then the game does a pretty good job of, of bringing a lot of the story, like, like inform you of the story that the anime just cuts out. So, uh, yeah, if, if you don't read the, the novels or you don't play the games, you're, you're going to miss out on a lot of information of, like, what's the purpose of everything, right? Or, like, who is like who is Zeus even, whoever. Um, but uh, there, there, there is a story behind it, but in the anime, they just haven't revealed it yet. So maybe with the inclusion of Monsters of Intelligence, maybe this is going to go back to something like, that's I guess, important. like, the beginning, I guess. Like, of, like, the beginning. The whole point of all this is, like, it's what I'm not confused about. Like, yeah. Well, the, the main point is picking up girls in a dungeon because that's the name of the show. <laughs> that's, that's on the side story now. He, yeah. he has plenty of girls. Dude, I, I, we haven't even seen Ainz, like this whole season. I just realized that. And we don't need it. Yeah, it's it's yeah. fine. She's low yeah. tier anyway. We got we got monster girls now, sir. That's the yeah, we have monster plan. girls. We got Hestia. It's fine. And we got and we got Har, uh, Haruhime. Mm-hmm. So we're good. Uh, dude, when I first saw like the fire lizard, I immediately thought of like that ruler from Force of Will. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what his name was, but anyway, that was just kind of like a side note. Yeah, uh, well, for all you Force of Will players, the million, right, right, like the five. There yeah. was uh, there are dozens yeah. of us. Right, right, right. No, that it was also cool to see him have like his Argonaut powers again. Um, basically was, was just, that what know, that was? That what that punch time. was? I had no idea what that that's, was either. That's his hero powers, man. When he basically feels it, he gets it. That I don't know what that's, a hero power. Thing. I don't know what a hero power is. I don't remember if that was in the anime or not. I don't that, remember any of, of things I hate. That, that's it, what it, it was. It's, yeah. Whenever his like emotions or ambition to become like a hero, or whatever, like emerges, like when the one sh- thing I hate about the show, yeah, right. That's <laughs> when he gets like his power up, and it's not consistent. So I'm not okay, sure. Exactly I thought I thought that was only for level. Yeah, it actually gave him like actual powers. Yeah, I remember? No, I don't, remember powers. season one where he basically just like uh feels like in that sword and basically like destroys like the giant, like the the uh-huh. giant giant Goliath. Yeah. Goliath, yeah, I guess with the, yeah. the, the, the slash, but. It really just kind of comes in with like during those just clutch moments when you expect those clutch moments to come up. That's you why that, you I, I kind of hate them. You know what that's called in, you know, like in literature, trend? A bail armor? A deus Cop machina, out. I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'm oh, sure. right. I know the term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do actually remember seeing that. I don't uh, actually know. It, it, I actually don't know if it's the right one or not, but it's like the closest one, I think, which is like basically yeah. the, the ass pull of like writing. And I hate it. But that's one thing I actually really hate about Damachi that but it's 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 in his powers, so it's gonna be it's played like time and time again. That's why I don't really yeah, like I don't really good. like I don't really like watch it as like, you know, like something serious, it's just more casual. Cause I can't so because yeah, when something like that happens, you, I can't take it seriously. Yeah. So I'm just watching yeah. it like so even though I, I hate it too, if it's like for the emotional moments, then I'll just watch it and enjoy it. But it's yeah. not gonna be like a top tier show that I recommend other people. Yeah. But they're throwing in, they're throwing, yeah, that's true. But they're also throwing in like emotional moments now too, where it's like how you mentioned earlier, David, where the story is, seems like a lot more serious. It's basically like trying to like either, um, you know, bring back like like uh, monsters with intelligence, like it's just like as like a race saying, like, humanity. It, it feels like like there, a lot of their choices are, are now starting to matter, which I yeah, it's like the one yeah. thing in anime. That, like when you hear me complain about things in anime, it's because like things like just don't matter. Or you don't have consequences. <laughs> it's a waste of time. So. Like, I, I feel you, sir. So. Yep. But uh, I don't. I don't know. It's. Um. Oh yeah, and then also that other group too somehow got tipped, and I assume we're gonna see some sort of battle. There's possibly be deaths as well soon. 
with the that monster. I mean, that that monster they're, they're, they're like suspicious of like Bell and his pavilion anyway. So yeah, but they got like they got word from somebody though that you know like they were yeah. they basically so they're, just... they're on a move now for sure. Yeah, yeah. so we'll, we'll see what kind of happens from there. So, but here's your it, here's your monster party. Exactly, well, dude. Why would Haruhime buff wealth? What is what you have? You have Bell, man. What the fuck? I just sure, thought that was kind I'm of a sure random because like, he's a higher level. I'm assuming. I don't. No, Bell's the highest level one. In oh, is group. he? Okay, I don't know. But then I think Krolzo just has the magic swords, so that's why they built him up to amplify the oh, magic sword damage. Yeah, because what I think Bell Bell's level three right now, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, and then wealth four. Yeah. Yeah, I thought wealth was like. I thought he was like yeah. I thought he was three, higher. Maybe? I thought he was higher or two? than Bell. But... Oh really? Hell no! I didn't think that. No. I thought he's got to be two or three. <laughs> I thought, like, I, gotta be like one. I thought either like uh, Mikoto or the other guy was like higher than Bell, but whatever. I think Mikoto might either be the same level or lower level, but I'm pretty sure Bell's the higher leveled one. Okay. Mikoto has beast ass magic or um, magic though. I mean, can you we can use bra- gravity powers? Yeah, yeah she's you're still doing pretty but... well. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I wish they had like more kind of like waifu things. Yeah, I, don't remember that. Game, anyway. I don't remember any of her powers. Damn, David. Yeah. It's okay. We, we we played the game, so so we just yeah know. yeah we we saw it's it over and over again. Minds. Like, yeah. Again, it's like like even as an action show, it's like it's it's whatever. Like there's yeah. not any standout moments. So yeah, Dude, I don't know like how you can classify the genre anymore at this point. Like each season has like their own. It's genre. all over the place. Like, yeah. yeah. Again, it is not like this show is not consistent at all. Yeah. yeah. I don't I was, know why I'll, we still watch. I was gonna say like <laughs> like just like Fire Force Man, inconsistent. <laughs> But for this though, my bar was my bar was so low from season two that this is actually like a surprise. I guess for, like, I'm just, I'm I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, for sure. I mean, talking about just watching the show in general, I guess I'm a sucker for fantasy, and so I always like yeah. give it a, a little yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when I got back, when I was getting back into anime, I mean, I think Damachi was one of the first few that I watched. I thought, damn, this this show is so good, and then. I, uh, I mean, and then I started watching a bunch of more stuff and realized actually those things are much better. They're, they're, yeah, it's still very generic. It still has it has standout moments, but yeah. oh, I still enjoy it. Hestia's, you know, Bestia, and that's you know, we just kind of go from there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I'm done. I, I don't even know how like where this next episode's gonna go, but man, we'll see. I'm sad that we don't get any any of the JC staff rants. See, like yet. There's a, still always a chance, sir. They can um, always ruin it. We will see. Yep. They can always just uh, jump in and basically just decide this, to speed run something again, important. Like, this type of show, like I'm not taking it seriously, so I'm not paying attention to the animation at all. It's just like whatever, just give me whatever. I'm just, I'm just watching while I'm laying in bed. See, like, I never thought da- Dama she was like top notch animation. It's good enough to basically. Notch, I'm saying like okay. I'm saying yeah. like um, it's just whatever you know. It's just it's it's yeah. satisfactory or like it does the job. Yeah, see, yeah, season two is when I noticed it. Season three, yeah, it's fine. Uh, but there's but, I mean, nothing, ra- nothing really bad, nothing really wrong. The lesson here is that, like, always just don't. If you love a night, light, light, light novel series, you better hope JC Staff doesn't get it because they always cut things out. Like, it's. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm Again, I'm sure, like, the Index fans are the most pissed because, like, they rushed that last season so much. They cut out so many shows. And I guess, like, I think it's. I guess it won't be fair to blame it all on them. I think, I think it's just, like, whatever production committee or whatever publisher pays them to do it like they're the ones rushing things but so i guess it sucks that their name is attached to it but like just just there's not good at adapting light novels they cut they cut so much stuff yeah i, I mean i'm assuming there may maybe be more rants with me and cool if we were still playing the mobile game but without that i don't have those rants yeah so, you're just enjoying it you know? i'm i'm just i'm honestly just surprised that like just like how well or just how much i'm enjoying this season mm-hmm. and how little there is to complain about so far for me yeah yeah we're so. at 15 minutes so okay so yeah that's gonna be it for yeah. Machi. um and then that's like that's like the, all the shows i've watched so the rest of this just i'll leave it up for you guys i guess um astride and Koo, you want to talk about standing on a million lives yeah cool. bit, Did you like, that? Like, yep, I'm caught a little bit. Just... yeah it won't be it won't be very long i mean this, this whole this section is basically five minutes at most so um I don't know, Ku, do you want to start this or do you want me to start this? Just like a give like just quick thoughts. You don't have to like worry. Uh, we right. haven't really talked about episodes one or two yet, have we? Uh, uh we, yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. yeah, we did last week. Um uh, because it was, you know, remember like the guy that basically became a chef and then where he's able to actually see like the insides of like the creatures and basically see weak points and whatnot. Oh right, right. Yep. Yeah, we talked about that. Um they got our their fourth party member. Yep. 
Um, which, which is, is a, a live streamer, apparently. Live streamer? That is a mage. <laughs> That's funny. That is fire. That is basically like Megumin, but it's not like it in the sense where her ability uses all of her magic to do heat, a little bit of air. Okay, so... And that about that is about it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you, if you, if you can even call it power creep because she is legit useless. Like, she's everyone... Evil. Everyone at level one in this game is completely yeah, useless. Yeah, I was going to say the other, maybe the water, well, the, but... other, the other mage is useless too, so I was going to say that. Yeah. Well, we haven't really seen her abilities though. Uh, Who, the, 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 mage? the mage girl. The wind mage, yeah. We haven't seen her abilities like recently. Like We saw none of, nothing of her this this episode. Yeah, I think the most she could do now is just force air into something, which is in the last episode where they showcased yeah. that. Um, right. But yeah, no, it looks like, yeah, level one, you're pretty much useless. And then you're going to need to level up quite a bit to be somewhat useful. Like uh, with the main character, um, we haven't really seen much of him other than the fact that he's been like physically training himself to become stronger. I don't know if that does like a direct conversion to his in-game stats. Maybe or stamina. Other, other world stats, yeah. Uh, but he still got knocked out in one hit from that caterpillar attack. So The, the pill bug? Yeah, the pill bug. <laughs> Wasn't he like so... on like the track team? Isn't he like already athletic? So it makes so it's not like out of the reach for him to be to be working out more or something. Maybe I don't. Remember I guess that. it doesn't really matter. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to correlate to the game, so I'm not really sure. Mm. Um, but yeah, um... I don't know. It's like I said, it's 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 just so hard to talk about it because. There's nothing that's like amazing, right? Nothing yeah. that like it's a, stands out. It's, it's a typical Isekai that has a cool it's, it's concept. A typical, that's, it's a Isekai yeah. that's just a little bit better. But yeah. Like people are still burned out on Isekai. It's like it's just so very hard to okay. recommend. Apparently, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm still you, you like, I, I have a, <laughs> like I'm, I'm having fun with it, even though I'm not really taking it like too serious. Even though they have, right. even though there is a possibility that they can all die, but it's just so unlikely because they would all have to die. Right. So I just feel and like then when you know this this show, it does something just a little bit more. I don't know really. Like I guess because like it seems like the main character is not overpowered, and it seems like there's actually like really important like there's actually tension happening. I guess that's like the only thing that's making it just a little bit better to yeah. watch compared to like the other one that's airing like by with, by the grace of god it seems like that one's so generic that like i have no interest in that at all where at least this one it just has something a little bit more so yeah i mean it's like i like like the like the op uh main characters but i also like the ones where they actually have to like grow uh i I'd probably prefer those more now just because like the, like the, the op characters have been so overplayed well it's just like the right. op characters just it just gets boring they don't do anything like, right it's, or it's like done. one punch yeah, it's like one punch man where it's just like where if like if they're op they come in one swipe it's over it's like like those things are yeah that, that definitely gets overplayed or, i mean it's like um, if you're every op you gotta do it like the misfits of demon Academy, where like you have fun of it yeah like, you basically have to make a shows, joke out of it yeah their shows just get boring yeah yeah and they try to be too serious about where it it's, and it's like what? it's like if it's isekai too it's like it's more focused on the harm than like than anything yeah. else right so. But I don't know. I'm. I don't know. They 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 haven't completed the mission yet, right? They they basically just killed this random bug that dropped out of nowhere, and they're mm-hmm. still just trying to clear more of the map. I think. Oh no no they did they did complete the mission because at the end of the the the, the EP, uh, it looks like their next mission is I don't know if it was a joke or not, but it's to get the the fourth chick like get her live view counts to like. Uh, that was a joke, man. I'm pretty What's sure that was a joke. That had to be a joke. Like, oh, the little ending thing, it's got to yeah. be. That can't be the serious. <laughs> but, yeah, it looks like they completed the mission, so that's mission five. Um, yeah. Oh, wasn't, wasn't like, a, someone in the first episode, like, wasn't she, like, live stre- like live streaming on her phone at a table? Was that this show, or? I think it was this one. Because, okay, yeah, yeah the, the main chick, she's pretty popular, so. I, yeah, okay. apparently. I, I swear, yeah. I remember, yeah, so I think, I'm pretty sure that was her, yeah, in the first episode then. I don't think they cleared this mission though, Koo, because remember they they weren't asked the question at the end of it. So I think the mission is still going. Oh, okay, yeah, that's probably. Yeah. I I thought maybe I'll just like skip it yeah. again, like for uh, the it's just a random thing at, like after credits that they just put in there for the you know comedy purposes. I'm assuming. Well, it got me, I man. Know. <laughs> I don't know. But no, yeah, I, got, I got really nothing else. All right, yeah. So uh, that's just our quick thoughts on yeah. uh, saying I'm in lives, and then. Um, I think we went, went next to Nose Plus real quick. Um, so I didn't watch this week's episode. So again, yeah, my bad. Just like, I guess, sounds like um, Ku and Taylor, you're, you're not really feeling it. 
Yeah, I didn't watch the OVA. Uh, Taylor did. But even then, I don't think the OVA could have saved this for me. Um, the, it, it looks like like development of the plots is is more well done than the other mangas, where it has decent pacing. But it's, to me, it's just so boring. There's really <laughs> nothing that's kind of drawing me in. Um, I mean, even the, like the main character, Rise or whatever, like he doesn't do anything. Like he's kind of just there as like a like a comedic plot point, right? Because every time you see this guy, he just like stands there. He gives this okay to do whatever. And then they have this thing about him with letting his ramen multiply, where he just orders ramen, lets it sit there, yeah. and just looks at it. Like I don't, yeah. I don't get what that means. I don't know if that's like I a know. Korean reference or. It probably sounds like yeah. Because I remember in the OVA, he thought he thought it was garlic, so he thought like like they're trying to kill him, whatever. But like, uh-huh. mm-hmm. besides that, I don't I'll get that reference. Well, I, we'll have to ask Peter about it. Yeah, and then like the two new uh, like nobles that they introduced, uh, you know the guys, kind of whatever, and then you get this like awkward girl that's probably sleeper OP, but she doesn't talk, so, um, she has this mysterious uh persona that that's drawn in one of the nerdy guys, I guess. Um. Yeah, there's, there's really nothing much going on, so uh, it's kind of hard to talk about or be drawn into what Noblesse has to offer. Peter, well, I feel like there's actually a lot that's going on, but we're just, like, covering the most boring parts of it. That's kind of <laughs> yeah. what I feel like is going on with the show, because, like, there's t- like there's still something that I'm a bit confused about, and I'm not sure if it's because they use different words in the OVA versus, like, this season, but I know that there's, like, an organization, I know there's a union, and but I don't know exactly what what either one of them wants or which one is which. I think, I and think then on think, top, I think what you're saying about because I think the OVA you said organization. I think maybe they changed it to union in the in the in the series. Yeah, it might be. And then like the other thing too is um, like their descriptions of things kind of throw me off. Like I'm actually still kind of confused if noblesse is like a race or a person, or if it's, like, all of these vampire type of people, or if it's just the main guy. Like, I can't... Like, I the think... way they're using that word is not grammatically correct, and it's confusing. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see this episode, yeah, so, like... Probably. Yeah, I didn't see this episode, so I can't say, but I think it's supposed to be the title. I think it's he's, like, he's supposed to be, like, the... He has the title of, like, the, the strongest vampire or whatever. The well, see, that's vampire. what I thought, too, but then they were calling that, like, the two vampires that got or what, that's what I'm going to call them. The two <laughs> vampires that got introduced in this episode, um, they like the the guys that were after them, or that they were hunting the bad guys. They were calling them noblesse. Actually, I think even the main characters were calling them noblesse too. Okay, mm-hmm. and I thought that was just like the main guy. Okay, then I'll have to look so. this episode see what's. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this could be resolved with a Google, but it's just like an annoyance of mine that uh-huh. they can't like be a little bit more clear with that. It it throws mm-hmm. me off the show really quickly when they just kind of like glaze over so many of these world building details. It just it just makes me kind of tune out, and I think that's my main issue is, is stuff along those uh-huh. lines. So it sounds like it sounds like um maybe it's just issues of like I don't know, it's just manga, not manga, but maybe just like just web comics in general where. It sounds like, again, like, the author, like, he just was just making it as he went along. He didn't really know where the plot was going. And, I mean, that's why he's just dragging it out of, like, the boring stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's why I liked Tower of God so much is because I felt like there was a pretty clear plot, like, early on. Like, it felt like it Mm -hmm. was all building to something. And even though, like, the creator had definitely just thrown you into it, even in the manga, too. I mean, definitely in the anime, but even in the manga a bit. Um... Even though he like throws you into it, you can tell that you know you're gonna learn. Um, but and I just feel I didn't see um, what, what was this God of High School one? I didn't yeah. watch that. But mm-hmm. definitely, but from like what you guys have said and what I've experienced with Noblesse so far, I I I could see the your point, David, that like maybe they are just kind of planning on doing this short term and it doesn't last. Or I don't know. I just just like just like this style of storytelling where like I've seen it so much in like in manga's. So like I'm kind of mm-hmm. familiar with it, so I can see like why, like, the, what why you guys are saying the things you're saying because like yeah, it just it feels so familiar in this format, where like, mm-hmm. just it feels like in in manga's oftentimes I feel like there's pages where, like where there's just things don't happen, so mm-hmm. so it probably feels awkward yeah. like translating it to anime. Maybe that's why I guess like well, maybe that's why because we kept criticizing Tara God and and um God High School for cutting so much thing cutting. 
so much out, but maybe they're trying to avoid that and it just backfired. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It could be. I think it's I just like multiple things that are issues with it. Because another thing with Noble S too that I don't like is um like I'm trying to think of how to phrase it, but like um I feel like the characters just seem so unrealistic. Like everything they do is unrealistic, and I feel like the whole tone of the show is confused. Like, does it want to be more serious or does it want to be comedic? Because I feel like it doesn't mix those two elements well. Um. I mean, some shows can, but this one I haven't seen it do it's really very well. Hair, like when, and then we, when they try that, it's very hair miss. So yeah, yeah. And then like, there's like this gangster that, or whatever that keeps showing up at the school to like tear this like high school kid. Oh out my god, of that guy comes with, again. Like, adults. Yes, he comes again, oh and like God. all of a sudden, this redheaded—I don't even know why he's impo- important to the story—but this redheaded kid all of a sudden knows all of these fighting skills, and everybody just acts like it's normal. Like I just don't like—I don't get it. Um, especially because, like, another thing in this world is I can't tell if real people know that these things exist. Like, if real people know these things exist, like I can see this being a grittier world where maybe high school kids get pulled out of school by a gangster. But if like they're like, maybe there's people that train for this, but, like, the rest of it seems so slice of life and comedy. I don't know. I don't know. Ku, what do you think? Because I'm so torn. Yeah, no, I, I feel the same way. I don't think they know what they're doing. Uh, the delivery has been pretty lackluster. Because if you think about it, right, like, the very first episode, if like I said, just throwing the OVA away because we don't do that here. Uh, we only, <laughs> it's very we only watch sir. what they give us. Well, two out of the three of us did, but... <laughs> If you have an OVA for a show that was four years like old, like that doesn't really count, right? I mean, come on, it's really? Boring, man. It's, it's canon. So I didn't even know about Noblesse until God of High School and Tower of God came out, and that this is a pretty popular manhwa that's going to be adapted to anime. Like, if, if I'm not willing to read like any visual night uh, novels, manga, you know, whatever, if I'm not willing to do the research, what makes you think I'm going to do it for this? Where two of the manhwas before it just failed miserably. Uh, so just going off with that, right? You open up with episode one of this like crazy action pack scene. You introduce five characters that have yet to be seen again with this episode, and it's like, okay, what was the point of showcasing that? You know, like so we're in this kind of world where there's an evil organization that's out to like hunt down like vampires or whatever, like these noblest or as they're called, and then you cut towards this guy who has like these crazy powers, but he's he's a mute, I guess, because he doesn't really do <laughs> talk much. Uh, but he's the the son or friend of the the high school director. There's apparently this crazy bodyguard that they just hired who, like, came to play, and that's who these like unions or organizations are hunting. Like, and then you got like this high school kid who who's clearly a lot stronger, or not like he's really abnormal, right? He's he clearly does not belong to the the normal high school student. Uh, but he's he's super strong. All these gangsters or whatever are going after him. And like he has to get his ass saved by like these, like these supernatural uh, like ability people. So, the, the, like as as Taylor was mentioning, there's there's so much going on. I don't think they know what they're doing or which direction they're trying to go in. But they're throwing so much at you, and they're doing it in a way where it doesn't really impact you as much. Where you want to like be drawn into the world. Like I I don't see how this is a, a popular manual based on what they're like introducing so far. So, like, I, I was thinking yeah. about it, but I was, I'm was i going to give it a little bit more just to see what's going on. Just because I feel like the main cast has been assembled. And now they're going to start. Like, but, yeah, I, I get what yeah. you're saying, though, about how <laughs> you it, is, time for that. it is really annoying how, like, yeah, like, such an important part is, just, is like, not there. Like, like, or, like, not telling people about how important it is, but it is very important. Yeah, and then like I said, with, with the main cast assembled, like I'm sure maybe now. Because like, I, th- I think a lot of will actually showcase. I think a lot of the Chris. I mean, I sh- I shouldn't say like. It makes more sense that like the high school kids are useless like after watching OVA, but it it still like doesn't make sense like why they're there in the first place then because yeah they really just don't matter. So. Yeah. So like your Chris still stands. It's just like it makes more sense, but it doesn't mean like it's not like it's still like it, it's not like. Like, they should be more, like, yeah, like, more relevant to the story. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that it, like, kind of just made me more, a little bit more comfortable with the world. Like, I had a basis, but all, I mean, I watched the OVA, and I still had all the, like, questions or, like, nitpicky things about, you know, the world building even after watching it, so. Yeah, see, there you go. Even someone who actually watched it, so. 
the OVA didn't matter. I still say it matters, but I'm just saying yeah, that's just I, I overall. Say, I'm just in the middle of you too. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying the OVA excuses the show, like, cause like, no, your criticism still stand, but like, it's still we have to, we still have to like, um, I think you have to take an account, cause it's probably mm -hmm. based on this what you guys are saying, it's still sounds like it's probably the best episode so far. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, I'll, oh yeah, that's yeah. all I have for Noblesse. Also, we'll keep watching. Oh, I mean, when I, when I get caught up, I'll still I'll try to watch it, but. Um, like, it just makes me very wary of, like, of manga's being adapted, at least by Crunchyroll, like, this is, this is like, face probably, like, third, the third strike, like, it's just not been good. I, I'll say it again, like, I wish they would have just taken one project at a time and gave it more focus instead of just doing these weird, like, trials of the three shows. So, I feel, I feel, yeah. I'm worried for, like, fans of, like, soul leveling, if that ever gets anime announced, like, I'm worried that they're gonna, like, Messed up like they did with these three manga so far, so. Well, you know, like like I mentioned earlier, um, I, I feel like something with like a pretty pretty easy explanation of what the show can be, like an introduction of the show. Solo leveling, you can kind of guess by the name what it's going to be be become, but with a name like Noblus and with the with the characters that you're introducing, like it, I, I would I would imagine that they would be more, like their strength would be with the storytelling. Um, and flesh not the world um and i feel like if they can't hit that properly with the first couple of episodes like i don't know what what else you have to really work with like as a strong point so um uh, I, I would have more hopes for solo leveling than i would for noblesse just because you can't really mess up like action I mean, anime kind of like. got high school but right but at least they were able to draw you in from the beginning right from the get-go so they'll at least get you to keep watching a few more episodes but with noblesse like i'm already feeling like dropping it because i'm not interested in it whatsoever yeah hmm. yeah it's definitely my least favorite one of the season right yeah so i will say oh, um let's see besides that i'm enjoying the the ending because it's by k-pop group so at least i have that how do you know it's K-pop? It could be G-pop. Because it's Korean, man. It's obviously <laughs> Korean. You can tell by the voice. It's well, obviously Korean. Even if they're singing... Oh, I even, don't know. Even if they're singing... The, uh, like, K-pop has such a distinct voice. Like, you can tell, even if they're singing Japanese, that it's, it's K-pop. Yeah. For sure. I know. I, I can always tell, too. But I gotta say, the, the K-pop songs for these anime adaptions have been pretty solid. Like, pretty much... I'm not really like, a fan of the, the opening for Noblesse, but... Um, well, the opening is done by Hyde. It's produced by Hyde, but it's by another Pro Korean singer. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Okay, I missed that. It's, at least that's what it said in the opening. It, it did not sound like Hyde, so I'm pretty sure. No, it didn't. That's why I was really surprised, especially yeah. the very beginning. Because yeah, I, I thought that, that same like, way what? too. I saw, I saw Hyde. <laughs> yeah, I saw Hyde, but then like, but it didn't sound like him. And then like in like one like the lines of the opening credits, it says "produced by Hyde." I'm like, okay, that makes more sense now. Oh, uh, I missed the "produced by," but yeah, you're right. That totally makes way more sense. Yeah. So, so I don't really, I'm not really a fan of the opening, but yeah, I, I'm enjoying these Korean, these K-pop songs in the anime. We need more of them. No, yep. we no, need, we don't. And we, we're saying, we need and more we're of them. saying that is like not even K-pop fans. Like David, unless you're a closet K-pop fan, I, I, haven't, I'm not. I haven't listened since high school. I enjoy them here and there, but I don't keep up with it. Mm -hmm. No, nah, this this guy's got secret posters like hidden like around his borders <laughs> that we can't see. And that's around his uh I've only been listening I've only been listening to BTS just because like I hear it everywhere. So Oh, okay. You don't say, you know? Yeah. And, also, and, also, and also Peter plays it too. So like He would. But you know, K pop's okay, David. You don't need to be ashamed. No, I'm just saying like I yeah, I want more of them in anime because yeah. Or or more songs like the Jujutsu Kaisen ending. I enjoy that too. So we need more of yeah, that. Yeah, that one's really good. We need more of that in anime. Yep. So I think that's gonna be it for Nose Plus. I think we said more than enough. Yeah, about a fifteen minute mark. <laughs> oh, okay. That's All fine. Right. So um I guess whether shows we have um I guess Daily wanna talk a little bit about um Ikebukuro Westgate. Or actually could you watch this too? Yep, I did. Okay, so you guys can talk about that for whatever you guys i have to describe this like i hear people talk about like guilty pleasure anime or is this guilty pleasure you know, this is really my guilty pleasure okay. i really can't defend it i just like it i don't really have so I, I didn't watch reasoning. episode just like episode one was just 
was just boring to me, so... <laughs> I, I thought that they were going to build off of episode one, but with episode two, they kind of just went off of a different story arc, it seems like, which to me was kind of confusing because I thought they're going to build off of the, the drug bust they did in episode one. Um, because that's what one had. Yeah, the, I didn't get that. Too. It had that ending where like, the guy was feeling. like over, overhearing the conversation, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, oh, no, no, go ahead. Well, no, well, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely thought that like that main plot that happened there was just like a meat and potatoes episode like it definitely felt wrapped up by the end except for what you mentioned those guys watching i feel like i never watched do Ra 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 all the way through but i feel like yeah. they ha it had a bunch of different threads going on and like things that would kind of pick up and then back off and this might just be one of those overarching threads another comparison yeah. to do Ra because people were saying that the first episode mm. especially since they both take place in ek book Real. Even though, even though again, oh, yeah, I do. even though again, like they they make it sound like Equal Girls like this place where gangs hang out <laughs> and like, sketchy things happen when it's just a suburb with like cheaper housing, so college students live there and it's close by the other schools. It's just a place with a bunch of hipsters, and then apparently there's a there's a leader uh, at each gate. So well, I mean, yeah, because quite a bunch of college kids. So yeah, so <laughs> oh, there's also there's also there's a, there's a mall there called um, Nakano Broadway, which. Apparently, it's like famous for having a lot of ultimate games and like appealing to a lot of the female anime fans. So, yeah, I don't know. Like to be honest, I'm not even sure why I'm watching this, but it is one of those shows where you can kind of just chill and kind of relax. Although, I I really felt like uh, they're kind of just throwing whatever at you. They're not really following like a main plot or storyline. Um. So I, I think I don't know. Like, I think if I was younger, I've always like. I would've been more interested in like things like taking place like in like really urban areas like Tokyo. I want to know more about like urban lifestyle. But now it's like I don't think I like I'm like in that the mood for it as much. Like just mm. like I mean, or I want like I want more of like I don't know like super, if it, what takes place in some place urban like if you I want it to be more like stylized. I want like really like like something more stylized. Like I'm thinking like about like like the world's in the view the kind of style. Like something to really, like persona or persona, yeah. Like, yeah, when it's just like just this this art style just seems kind of boring. Where, like, that's actually a really good point. I could concede that to you for sure. It definitely like the opening. I feel like has style, and I was kind of expecting to see more of that in the anime. So I, I totally know what you're talking about there. Yeah. Um. Or like um, there's like the other show, like the the the, the Project K show, where like they had like. It had, it had like the like the gang wars but they all had powers which was more even though like the, the concept was cool but the execution sucked but like but so also, i'm i'm always down for like stuff like that where it's like it's like these gang wars with like with powers but again it just seems boring like it's just more normal stuff but it's like nothing interesting though besides the weird like gang like the weird drug bust but like it just wasn't just, i don't know I'm i mean just, I'm, it's, be... I'm probably not in the right space to, like to watch a show it's probably like I'm sure there's like. Uh, I don't know if you can mean hope for gang wars anymore because they did introduce a new gang uh, with this episode, but then they all became buddies. <laughs> they actually teamed <laughs> up. Know. These are like the nicest gangsters ever. They stop drugs. They don't fight with well, each other. <laughs> like, like, come on, Japan! Like, not all gangsters are friendly. I mean, come on. You, know, I know you guys are like the friendliest well, place not, in the world. They're but... not yakuza, so that's like. That's gonna be only like real gang shit. Yeah. Especially a bunch of hipsters who want to be yakuza's and then. You know they, they they found a way to make a group, and then I guess this guy named King he's super popular, so he's ahead. Although we don't really know like how he became like the head of the group, no, we don't. G Boys. But yeah, you know, like I said, with with the first episode, uh, I I thought it was gonna be like some kind of like yeah, like I said, like Yakuza, like like a hipster version of it, and then you know there's gonna be these new gangs that kind of hop up on our turf, and that's why uh, they're chasing out one drucky guy in episode one but he was just mm -hmm. a guy who overdosed. And then with the continuation of uh, episode one, it's going to be that one guy who's eavesdropping on them. And then I thought that maybe they're going to go after the the one girl and her mom for kind of like helping out the drug bus. But mm -hmm. no, they just went with a completely different route. Everyone's friendly. Um, there was a new gang that popped up in, in Ikeboro, but then uh, they teamed up to fight against the the crazy, was it like, like a curry rice family chain restaurant? <laughs> That was like enslaving workers or some shit like that. If they're not like 
up to par with their like their hype or whatever. And it was just it was just like a really weird episode, you know, like it was it, it was, was. So, it, so it was mean, still fine. So you mean normal working conditions for a restaurant? <laughs> or I, I guess, but it was I'm just, just like what, what like what was the point of this episode? You know, like nothing happened the way I thought it was gonna happen. But it was still like entertaining to watch, but if they're just gonna throw a bunch of random like aspects at you, like every episode, I I don't know what like why I'm why I'm gonna watch it. But well, okay, so like I don't I really don't know any spoilers for this show at all, and I have not read the manga for it, but I was reading through forums just to get like, I don't know, an idea of how people are feeling about it. And uh, I did see just a couple people who have read the manga that said, Oh, you know, this does all build up into a story and they had mentioned that like there is an emphasis on the tension between those two gangs. But I don't know for so, sure. I mean, I was I, just kind of getting a feeling. Again, more comparisons to Dufarpa. <laughs> Yeah, so I, mean, yeah, I, I think it builds so. up into something, but it's like if you're going to make an anime for something, I feel like you only have, probably this is going to be 12 episodes, I'm not sure if they've released the number yet, but like I you only have such a short amount of time, you need to make it like interesting from the beginning, you know? Right. And they did, but, but now they're they're starting to like lose, like lose momentum that they had from episode one, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a goofy show. I mean, it, it's it's like I definitely am not saying that this is anywhere near as good as Durara. <laughs> like, I think this is what I think this show would aspire to be that, or was heavily maybe like influenced by that. But they are definitely not on the same level. But nonetheless, yeah. I'm enjoying it. I think the characters are like just like weird enough to be enjoyable. <laughs> like, yeah, they're cool just enough. unrealistic enough to like just unrealistic enough to think of them as like caricatures. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's my guilty pleasure. Yeah, like I really like Majima. Like I think he's a weird but cool guy. Although his taste in uh, fruit ramen that was kind of weird. Um, from oh god, one. I totally forgot about that. It's because his father is a fruit vendor. Yeah, but even still, I just I just can't. <laughs> is that good I, enough reasoning for you? I, I saw that shit. And I was like, what is? Is this how he's like so strong? Man, maybe I should start eating fruit with my ramen too. You know. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It was pretty disgusting, but like I said, he's he's kind of a like weird, quirky guy. But I, I think he's a pretty cool character. Um, but I, I guess we'll see what happens, how they develop the rest of the guys. So, yep. yeah, I think I'm just not in like the right like mindset to watch a show, so I probably won't be keeping up with it. Yeah, so not really for me <laughs> anymore, I guess. So, Mm-mm. I think that's it for um, Ikifu Crow Westgate, um, and then uh. Moriari and the the Patriot or whatever. I think so. I think we the what we watched last week was like the the it was like a preview or whatever. They decided to do, give the first episode like a week early. Mm-hmm. So that, that's what that's what me and Taylor watched. And I guess we, this is when the the, the actual um, episode air, probably airs on TV. So we didn't get anything new. So let's wait till next week for episode two, which is fine for me because I was already behind on anime anyway. So so that gives me space to catch up. So we'll probably talk about that next week. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's the, that's the other show, and then I think, oh, and then I'll probably I didn't watch Wandering Rich. I, I think I'm still gonna watch it, but we'll see. And um, I'm sad I didn't um the, the um the I'm standing I oh, don't know um the day I became God aired finally aired I think on Saturday or Sunday. I I still want to watch it. Um, it's made by you know the writer of Clanid and Angel Beats, so we'll see what happens. I'll probably talk about it next week or whatever. So. I really think if it's going to be the same writers as Angel Beats, um, it's it's going to be one of those things where the world's not really ending, but it's just the MC's world's going to end, and that's what the that's like the gods going to be that angel to kind of like overwatch. That's kind of what happened to. in um in Little Busters as well. So yeah, so yeah, so we'll see. But, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm not really like feeling attached to any of the characters yet, but dude, if if I have to go through one another one of those like emotional roller coaster rides, I don't think I'm ready, man. Like I'm too old for this shit. I can't be crying <laughs> at this age. Although but... I think like Angel Beach is such a uh, different like level than like Clanid or the other shows, because like because the other sh- other ones were like were original novels, whereas like Angel Beats was anime original. So yeah, I don't I don't think it'll be like I don't think it'd be, it'd be hard to compare to Angel Beats. So. So I gotta say though, fucking Odin, dude. Like she fucked up the MC so much. Like I don't, I don't know how she was able to do what she did. 
uh, because like I I still don't know exactly what her powers are, because like if if she's really as uh like like all knowing as she says she is, like how does she possibly mess up that that baseball uh game and then the it's always the so called right it's and then, like right, oh, talking about baseball in his shows. Ah, uh, but man, like he fucked up the MC so much. Like any shot that he had with his childhood friend is just gone. Like mm-hmm. I, I felt so bad for the guy. Rip. Um, but yeah, because I think the only episode one came out, right? So yeah, episode two, episode is one out. comes out like on the weekends. So episode two comes out this weekend. Yeah, so I kind of want to see how this plays out. But dude, I already feel bad for this character. Like his life might as well just be over at this point. If if you had all this high hopes to hook up with your childhood friend and some some little girl or guy just popped out of nowhere and just ruined that for you, life's already over, bro. Just 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 kill me now. Ah, <sighs> all right, yeah. So. Pretty intense feelings, man. It was so cringe, man. Like if if you would have just seen it, that that one part was so cringe. I felt so bad for the MC. Wow. Okay. I, I just couldn't. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for um this week's episode. Um. Yeah. So. Wait. Anything about Talentless Nana? Are we talking oh, about how we're? I, I totally forgot about it because it seems like I think. Well. I dropped it. True. I dropped it. I read the manga. So, are you going to drop it, sir? So I, I know what's going to happen the first like four or five episodes. So. Ruiner. Yeah, I don't know, dude. After the second episode, just how things were going, I'm like, all right, I'm just done with this. This just it, it just seemed just so dumb. It, to me. Uh, also, just kind of a random uh, thought, not not about this, but I did rewatch the Ryu uh, Tanaka scene, um, and he is right-handed, and he still does yeah, drill I know, the ball right I saw it in your yeah. class display being from your monitor. So. No fucking way, did you? <laughs> yes. You saw me replay it like five times? <laughs> yes. I also saw so you bad. scrolling your anime figures earlier, too. So. My squad about figures? You're looking, you're looking at anime figures on your monitor. Oh, yeah. Earlier, too. I was looking, yeah. I was looking at my, uh, my yeah. guy to but see you, if you had you anything. You can see it in your glass display, Stratton. So keep that in mind. <laughs> no worries, man. So. I keep everything else discreet. Okay. <laughs> sure you do. So yes. I think we can save Talentless Nana for later. I, like, yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Ku drops it, though. So we'll see. If if the MC if if Nanao doesn't come back by episode four, I guess I might drop it. I want to know what what uh was it, uh, Kiyoya, the the, the white hair guy. I want to know what his deal is because obviously he's gonna be the one that like foils Nana's plan, but he's he faced... just hasn't acted. This is like a budget version of like L versus Light. I was gonna say <laughs> yeah, L, yeah. He's like he's like her L, but it's but it's a terrible version of L versus Light. <laughs> It's I don't know. It's like basically like if a, if like assassination classroom took over and tried to do it with uh, right. with Madoka Magica being the MC. You can bring it up, Shen. Dude, I'm telling you immediately. You don't even watch Madoka, man. I don't, but you know it's good enough. I suppose. But yeah, I don't know. It's just I don't know what to say about it. There's really nothing. Yeah, the biggest thing was just the, just the plot, the plot twist. So. Like, yeah, the plot was got me in episode one, but as of right now, really, like, I don't know. This ep- episode two is like really like the real first mate. It did, the real like, it didn't follow first episode. Well. So, yeah, the second episode it didn't really follow up well with the first uh, kind of like the Cause, drop. Like, it, Cause the first episode is a huge debate. So like, yeah, this is a real like first episode and this is where the real story begins of like how the show is actually supposed to be. So you can see it in my, my glass. Okay. Yes. Sorry. The scene is actually like way believe. better. Than I, I thought this, it was. I told you this before in other episodes, but I guess you didn't believe me. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like I don't know. The scene is so much better than I thought it was. Like re- like really like rewatching it. Like the music. I think this is the first time I actually really like the music in like in this fourth season of Haikyuu. I don't remember any of the music in Haikyuu because again I don't pay attention to soundtracks. Oh God, you're cool. Good. Like season one through three, so good. I don't, um, I don't remember any this... of the music. This season is is it, like I would actually I, pass David because this season I'm has been trash. I'm basically Connor, where like I can't remember soundtracks from anime. I remember more of them games, oh but not god. anime. Oh my god, missing out. I'm trying to keep keep um. That's why I was I was paying attention to Jujutsu Kaisen because like it actually stood out to me. So I'm trying. Yeah, to, like, I swear to God, you you better be caught to Haikyuu next week, and I want to know your thoughts. <laughs> I basically I already messaged Brian. I was like, bro, I need your immediate thoughts next week. I didn't see anything here. in the first week, so. You know, it's you okay. Know. We this episode matters because it it was actually yeah Taylor. If you rewatch the scene, it's 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 a lot better. I think the second time because you can actually like like go over it more. Or listen, like actually like hear the music and basically just those minor details. 
it's well, I mean, it's I, a lot. Better. I liked it. I was happy with it the first time. I did too. I teared up, and I actually teared up again when I was watching this again. Oh, I thought you were just <laughs> sweating. Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, no, no, I was tearing up. <laughs> it was good. All right, so thanks for the right. tangent, friend. Like you always do. <laughs> no problem. It was it was a good tangent. Yeah. It was a positive tangent. All right, so yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll, we'll see what shows we talk about. We like it's a pretty packed fall season. We still attack on Titan in summer too. So keep that in mind. Oh yeah, that'll be that'll be our number one show though. Yep. I'm sure. Oh, so, dude, winter is gonna be stacked. So and then winter is, is stacked too. But this is before winter though. That it it's gonna be part of winter as so. Yeah. But yeah, so that's gonna be it for this week's episode. Wanna thank the audience for this thing. Shout out to Ian and Celine. Thanks for watching me. I know you thanks want to Paul as well. Yeah, thanks to Paul. For joining I know, us. and I don't know if Peter is still there, but if you are, thanks Peter. And we Peter, why, why aren't you here on the yeah, podcast? Yeah, keep sir. mentioning you all this time. And yeah, come on. <laughs> Get caught up, man. We want to hear your thoughts. Yeah. yeah. Back up on your shows that we call trash. <laughs> Challenge. Oh, God. And then um, mm. I want to thank the panel for joining me today. Thanks, guys. Always nice talking to you. No, no <laughs> problem, man. I was pretty no useless because I didn't catch up. I only watched like four or five shows this week. I'm actually feeling pretty good about the season. Like, it's feel like a positive season. Like, I'm not feeling like, well, I mean, like I'm going to. I was already feeling it because I'm watching so many shows. So, like. Oh, dude. I, just because you have tons of shows, David, doesn't mean they're going to be good. Okay. Remember that. Okay. Because my standards are low, like you. Dude, whoa. <laughs> but I'm actually proud of my low standards, like, right now. Or uh, I'm actually not hating not, my low standards not right something now. I'm proud of, man. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Thanks, guys. And um, we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 David, that bag is still on your dress for the hasn't moved. Yes, my, <laughs> my Pearl Vision bag that's been there for a year and a half now. He'll get off his nuts, man. He'll move it when he wants to, right? It's his room. Gosh. <laughs> get out of my room. That's <laughs> fair. Get out of my room. <clears throat> you can tell a grown-ass man what he's going to do with his room. <laughs> <laughs>